so we can begin now. Hi, everybody. Today is August, let's see, the 20th already, 2022, and this is another lovely, beautiful edition of healing. And Rick and I, for those who are new, Rick and I are healers. My husband merged his energy with source, creator, God, whatever name you want to give him, um, or he, she. <laughs> Uh, he merged his energy with the creator and uh, he became a healer. This was about six years ago, five, six years ago. And, and when that happened, I started receiving downloaded information on what is wrong with uh, either the animal or the human um, suffering. And uh, scan, yeah. after Rick scanned them, yeah. do you want to do this? Honey? No, you're fine. <laughs> Just want to make sure you got it. Yeah. So when Rick scans a person, I receive the downloaded information and I can actually see inside your body. Um, but Rick is actually the healing energy that is healing you at the time. And um, we also receive any the uh, uh, past life information that is uh, affecting this in this incarnation of uh, incarnation. Oh, my God. <laughs> so um, it, that is affecting this lifetime. And uh, we also uh, can tell if you are if, if the person is um, is. Um, deceiving us deceiving us or um and we also can tell you your angels and your guides um and any we can channel information uh anyone that's coming through at this time and we teamed up with phil about three years ago almost three years ago must be about three years ago now uh, I, I do you want to start again <laughs> i think it's about three years ago this month yeah, yeah. um together to uh to to start healing for free about uh yeah and uh so i wanted to introduce phil arrow good evening from uk uh for anyone who doesn't know most most of you know me but i've been healing since i was five year old uh, the first being i ever was doing healing was a goat i brought back to life my hands glowed and they've never, they've never glowed since but I thought everyone could, uh, I thought it was just a natural growing up stage, but then I found out like I lost, uh, like I lost, uh, I'm, I'm as bad as you, Jeff. <laughs> I can't get the words. Um, it's just a lost ability that a lot of people don't do anymore. And then, uh, and then at about eight or nine, I connected to the earth energies. And then uh, during good time, I've just got, I've done warrior work and I've done healing. I was credited healer uh, in 2002, crystal healer, and I do uh, voluntary healing at an healing centre. But I always fit every. I know. Every time we go on these, we, me and Dad do and Rick see other stuff that we've never seen before. So we're learning as well as anyone else. So over to you, Dad. Thank you. So, uh, if for those that need healing, please put it in the chat pane, and Lily will. Uh, now call people in order of their requests and uh, we will begin. Okay, the first one is Gabriella. She's requesting for um, healing scan. So I was um, hoping that mom could go. Uh, she needs a little bit more than I do at the moment. Here you go. Hey, um, I'm passing kidney stones. And I'm in a lot of pain. And I was just about ready to go to the hospital. And I just feel like my body just hurts. Slow breaths in your nose, out your mouth. You can feel, feel the pain going away? Just a little bit. Still really sharp and stabbing. Okay, you have to release that pain because I can see them dissolving. You have to believe it. If you don't believe it, it's not going to go away. Lit. Deep breath, slow, in through your nose, out through your mouth. See them dissolving. See them all dissolving. A green emerald energy. All of those kidney stones are dissolving. They're just little, little crystals of salt. They're just dissolving. Like with the water, see them like crystals, salt, just dissolving. They're gone. They're gone. Slow, deep breaths. That feels a lot better. Okay. Going away. Mm -hmm. Three little spots in the blow of pushing away. I'm going down this other side. All right. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> um, to help purge that. How, how does she feel now? 
I think she's feeling better. She just started to throw up, so I think she's purging it. I think that's mm. why that was coming up. You got a bad back and bad, def- yeah. definitely a bad back. Yeah, she's been struggling with that. We, she wants to get a different job. The job we're working at, it's too hard for her. She's overdoing it, but we're trying to get a uh, we're trying to get a new place. So she's been pushing through, but I think everything's just piling on to work. But I know this is gonna help. I knew there was a reason I stayed up and uh, everything aligned. So because normally I'd be in bed right now, but I was like, I'm gonna be here. I miss you guys. So did she want a card? Um, she's still gone, but I'll take one for now. I picked two because I'm, I'm you get one for each today. Playfulness, yeah, and friendship. The playfulness is uh, she's got to try and fit fun when she's feeling as bad as she is. So anytime, uh, and basically, it sounds like she's she's losing the odd friend and gaining a new one. Does that make sense? Yeah. I, I think yeah. S- certain friends can create create negative. Yeah. Or, yeah. I live in situation. Thank you, Phil. Can I say something before you go? Um, Sure. I I just learned that I have kidney stones sometimes too. If I drink water all day with fresh lemon juice squeezed into it, it makes your body more alkaline. Uh And those kidney stones cannot live in an alkaline environment. They live in acidic environment. It's only a suggestion. I want to share that. Thank you, honey. I appreciate that. God bless. Oh Thank you. Yeah. And I've got a suggestion. I am not a doctor, so this is a sense of research. Well, message me. But to outline your body as well, uh, a borax solution or borax, which is a, a yeah. deter- which is a detergent. Yeah, I keep de- I keep it in the house. I was looking that up actually to uh, start taking. It worked it. within a few minutes. Okay. Awesome. awesome. I'll start taking that and I'll tell uh, her. I'll, I'll, set, I'll, put a, I'll put a video on me. Okay. It doesn't taste yeah. bad either. Okay, good. I thought you were the one I had saw. I had saved it in my phone. Thank you, guys. Um, Did you pick out up, Deb? What'd you say? I was just going to say, Deb's a bit quiet. <laughs> Hi, Deb. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah. Would it be possible if I got a scan or I can wait and get on the bottom of the list? You. No, you're you're okay. you're here now. Let's just do it. Okay, thanks, Deb. I have a scan, please, and thank you. Love you guys. Just got. Uh, you've got. Has your middle of your back been bothering you? Yeah. You've got a. Um, she's got one of those implants that looks like a um, a, a drone. A drone. Okay. What are those ones doing? I don't know. We just started um finding them on sure. light workers. It's not, it's not connected to anything that I can see. It looks like it's just placed there now, and it's just recent. Okay. I don't see it connected to anything. I don't even think it's live yet. I, Phil, is that a mm-hmm. 5G? Is there a 5G chip in that thing? I don't know. I don't know what they look like. I don't either. I'm getting a message, 5G. It's not quite middle. It's more lower. What? I feel it's more lower, lower back. You know where that... I see. It's like in that, you know where the, that bone is. I was wondering if it was because I wear an apron at work, you know, so I was like, maybe I need to get, you know, a different apron. Maybe I'm putting stretch on my back and stuff. So I was like, you know, I need a scan. <laughs> it's been a while. Dad? Hi, Jillian. Hi. Can you hear me, Dad? Yeah. Yeah. Has she got something on her right arm between the wrist and the elbow on the inside of her arm connected to the implant? Well, that's, yeah, I hadn't, hadn't even gotten to. Because when you said it wasn't connected to anything, you didn't think it was online. I, I, I didn't, felt... I meant, I meant outside of her body. I'm, I'm yeah. just trying to figure out what the, I'm getting a message 5G. I'm like, what is it? I was looking on the inside of it. So she's got something in her arm. On the yeah, on the inside, it like dumped, and it felt round but flat, like a like a cell tree, you know, flat one. Yeah. Right. Excuse me. Hey, so I'm wondering. I mean, are they in the middle of 
connecting this thing or is this like for something later is i don't understand i've just said these are new to us i'm mm -hmm. asking for i'm asking for messages here <laughs> yes i'm gonna align that with that deb it's, it's, it's very similar to a bluetooth connection yeah so i switched it on and i've sent a load of power down it i'm getting um it's connected to others it's like a, a gridding system mm. And um, like you say, 5G Bluetooth, but it's to a recent like observing integral, I'm not sure where. Um, and there's something on the vibration on the higher half. I, don't, I think it's the higher half. Dad, but if I've had, because I'm getting like a, a clicking download. Uh, um, on the left hand side of my head from it. Well, can you, if I come on camera, can you decode it if that makes sense? Mm. Yeah, I can try. Uh, let me find the video button. I'm just going, I've got my crystals. I don't, I'm just. Mm. Okay. It's so they can control. Come in. It's like they can take control and have them become robotic and like they take control of them they, they're like become right like robots and they do with at their bidding right like yeah. the mr sim like, like the zombie apocalypse like your worst nightmare yeah like the matrix movie when they jump people to get yes they can they yeah. can do exactly what she, rick and i were just talking about this like last night just well in my mind I've been stressing out about being in the same cycle of doing everything. And I've been getting sick every morning. I've been throwing up. Like, I'm just, I'm like, why am I doing this? You know, I've been feeling suicidal at points. Like, why am I working so hard to fight, you know, to be here and do this? And it's just like, okay, that's the thing. Let's just be positive. You know what I'm saying? But my body's been rejecting, like, Doing the routine. Don't don't choose that timeline. That's what yeah. you're, you're choosing that timeline when you do that. What you every day you want to pick, choose three things that you're pot that you're grateful for, and you start you start your day at a positive. Nobody's going to love you. Nobody's going to. You have to choose your happiness yourself. Nobody's going to give you happiness. So you're going to bring that joy from yourself and stay in your heart space. So you can't project negativity. And that's what you're, you're that's what you're projecting your life as so you've got to do it yourself you've got to choose it yourself you know nobody's going to do this for you you have to do it you're a warrior you've got to stay in your power yeah you've got all yeah, the toolboxes sharing all like the toolboxes are right there right i probably shouldn't share my lowest but that was just me being vulnerable about where i've been you know but yeah i totally never mind the me. shit show around you please right stay here stay yeah. here that's not real. Yeah, exactly. What's real is inside of you. Yeah. The truth you is there. Make me feel like I'm not alone here, you know? So you're never alone. I, yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, you know, you have guides and angels and you've got to bring them through. You, you know, tell, you know, open your toolboxes and, and hear and see, feel the energies of them around you. Never mind the rest of this crap. We are, <laughs> weak, believe it or not. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I know it's just uh, I love you guys. Oh, I love you too, honey. It's been removed, by the way. It's just very hard. Awesome. It's been removed. I was trying to connect, I open it up, work it and connect and it's deleted it. The implant. So. Yeah. 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 Thank you. I appreciate it. And your back's been repaired. Yes, it feels better. Yeah, you know, we just uh, get all the electronics out of her. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I think I think Deb manifested it last night. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, nearly on a left foot next to a little tower. No, we actually went by this this five G tower that they've now made it look like a palm tree. It is oh. such a, I mean, it's huge, and the it's it's right next to a bank in the bank parking lot, and it's so big and ugly. But they've made the, uh, you know, how they have those those white things. Well, they painted them green. So it looks like the palm fronds of the, and it, it's, I mean, it's, it's humongous, this tower. And it's low. 
So they made it look like a, a palm tree because we have a lot of palm trees here in the desert. Yeah. It's really they try disgusting. to be just yeah. Like the what was that the Lorax movie? Yeah. You got electronic trees. Yeah, you're, you're not noticeable at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we went, we went by it twice yesterday. Uh, anyway. And that's why we were talking about the yeah. I said the manifestation. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't a manifestation of this because uh, I actually saw one of these the other day, the same exact one. Right. Well, thank you. I'm going to go check on mom. And... So, so I stop quickly. Okay. Deb's manifestations come up. Self acceptance. I, I did feel that actually. Most, you're, too yeah. di- you're too difficult in yourself, not loving yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Get that. And expect, like... expect that manifestation. That's like, your plans might be changing. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Appreciate you guys. Love you. Love you too, honey. Thanks, Jillian. Lily? Okay, the next one is Rhonda. You are in. Rhonda. Hello. Hey, guys. Hello. And happy 40th anniversary. 41st. 41st. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Thank Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And Thank you. thanks for doing this. I really appreciate it. So um, uh, let me think. So two, two weeks, two and a half weeks ago, we had done a private session, um, which was fabulous. I thank you so much for all of the removals of those nastiness that took place. Um, sometime either that, so overnight, Prior to that, or the night before, um, I had been there. I, I woke up, so I don't know when this was, a day or two before or after, I'm not sure. Um, I had woke up, and um, sometime that day, I had um, a scab on my, uh, on my buttocks, and it was in the shape of a round um like a uh, injection so and this is the second time by the way so i went to source and i asked source if this was truly an injection and at that time i got no so several days later i asked again to source if this was an injection and i got yes this has been the second time um, the first time has been quite a long time ago, maybe a year and a half or so. But um, so I went in, I removed the toxins. Well, yes, I, I and creator removed the toxins. Um, so I'm checking to make sure that the remote viewing is gone from whomever, whatever was doing that. And then um, uh, also making sure the toxins are uh, transmuted and, and taken care of. And um, like, I don't want this to happen again. Is this in Astro? It's got to be, because yeah. um, this is the second time, the first time it happened, I saw it take place. And the second, this time, there was no dream. Like I didn't know until the scab started um, like scabbing over. So when you say you saw it take place, what took place? It was a dream. What was the dream? So the first time this happened, the dream was I saw a, a needle. I saw green goo inside. I saw an arm. And it, um, and so, and I saw the, the injection take place in an arm. And then after a day or two later, I was just scratching my arm through my shirt and I'm like, what the fuck is that? And so but you asked, so, but you asked and they said, no, you didn't that first time. And the second time they said, yes, you no, did. no, 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 no. The, <laughs> oh. the first time was um, this different. I, I meant the second times of this recent period. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Mm. I want to stop being a guinea pig. How's, how do you know if it's source you're talking to? I, through my direct connection. When you say direct connection, how do you know it's a direct connection? How do you know it's really him? Um, I have to trust that it is. Because I'm feeling you have a trickster energy that you think is source. Oh, that, really that makes sense. And, and from you have a, now I think on, you I have think a trickster. I... 
I, yeah. I'm, I'm not giving, I'm not getting that you are talking to source that I'm, you, you have somebody that's interfering in, and, and, and um, identifying themselves as source to you. And I'm, when you are talking to source, there is a totally different feeling. Um, you are connected through your heart. It is a very powerful feeling. And there is no doubt that you are talking to source. There is no doubt of your connection. I see. It is, there's no doubt. I see. Okay. So I guess what I will need to start doing is commanding truth. Well, and you don't have to command either, but you, um, first you have to make sure that you're connected to your higher self and then you connect to source. I That's see. what you have to do. Um, and grounding is really important. Um, but we need to get rid of this trickster energy. We really need to get rid of it. And you oh, are, wow. you have this trickster energy around you and it's, that's what's the bad part. You've got a trickster energy and it's oh, really, really connected to you and it's not okay. going away anytime soon. That's who's talking to you. Okay. Is you, this are you new? I want to confirm it was, was Phil. <laughs> I, I can see it and I can feel it. Okay. It's like a dancing energy. What? It's like dancing around. Oh my. Is this a, an energy that's been around me for a long time or is this a new energy? Because there was also something that transpired that I, I'm, I'm handling. Well, maybe I'm handling, apparently I'm not. I, don't, I actually wouldn't be able to know that. Uh, because so, uh, we haven't seen it before, but if you connect it now and again, it comes in and comes out. Is this an energy that's connected to something in the pit of my stomach or a chakra there? You may have two. There's one strong one and there's one that's a little bit weaker. The one in the pit of your stomach that you're feeling, and that's a little bit of a fear one that's giving you a little bit of fear. Okay. I need to just release. There's no reason for it to be there and um, yeah. it's released and it's gone. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't need to be there. Transmuted, contained in a white light source bubble, sealed, locked, and via tractor beam sent back to source creator of all that is. So it is to be it. How are you feeling, Rhonda? Definitely lighter. Definitely lighter. <laughs> um, very interesting. There's a feeling of um, energy way down in the root and thereabouts. Yeah, I've just sent in some sort of source energy into you. Uh, it's not that heavy. To get rid of any any uh, tricks, the energy that you've got on you. Okay. And also follow your energy to wherever it is. Sort right. Out there. Thank you. Yeah. Let's find out what, why, where this is. This is not authorized. It's actually connected to your. your oh. This okay. life. This life. Interesting. Okay. Say so stop, and I'll give you two cards. <sighs> stop. Apart from the tricks that you, you probably got this quite well. Oh yeah. Now balanced, and you need an holiday. You always, <laughs> an, always an holiday. I don't <laughs> balance. Yeah, so okay. yeah, balance is. We know your business. If you need it for help, just ask. So all you need to do is ask the spirit world to give you hand as well. As Interesting. Always, always. Okay. Wow. Thank you, guys. But, but make make sure you get the right spirit world. <laughs> no kidding. So. Yeah. Can you tell me anything about that? I mean, was the was the injection related to what this is as well? Yeah, we I say, mean, I off we, planet. I'm sure. We, we could we say lobby pop. Uh, this it, it's got some that lowers your aura so you can get get through the barriers. But I've used crystal source energy, so okay, okay, wow, we, we that's connect, amazing. They we, we connect to your eleventh chakra. And just uh, transmit your body to your blueprint. So wow. Uh, yeah, I didn't know you had one. So. Okay. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Yeah. This this can never happen again. And especially mm -hmm. with the injection. Um, you know, I am not a guinea pig. And okay. and they have no just, authorization just, in this body, yeah. in this mind. Period. Oh, you mean this, the problem with saying injection is this goes on YouTube and they'll think it's the other one. <laughs> Get, I'm sorry, say it again. You've say just got again. you've got to be careful how we used to talk on here because we've been uh we've been marked down because uh we'll say injection. Because it's Jabberwocky. 
<laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. So, no, but, sorry. No, they, no. Would, they would probably misinterpret. Yeah, I yeah. hear you. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you again. I'm I'm so grateful and um, doggone it. You know, mm -hmm. it's disheartening, quite honestly. Um, because I'm I'm working, I'm doing the work, and uh, you are. You I, know, I, I tell you what, Roger, I've not known to have people injections in Astro before, so that is some. Uh, Twice, I'll, mind I'll, you. I'll have a look I'm at popular. That. That's interesting. That's <laughs> really interesting. You're you're, yeah. a, you're a guinea pig. <laughs> I want say it again. I you're, you're, you. you're a guinea pig. <laughs> um, you know what? And uh, there there is no authorization for that mm. ever. So, uh, you know, I'm not sure where that is coming from. The remote viewing should be gone, correct? There is no none of that happening anymore. I don't do it. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I from from something else is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. So that you, you is should be, you should be. great. Okay. I do enough. I do enough work while I'm sleeping. I don't want to do a remote viewing too. <laughs> oh no 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 no! I, do, I work while I'm awake. I work while I'm sleeping. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I wasn't. I didn't mean. I didn't mean you. Uh, <laughs> perfect. Thank you guys. I Thank really you. appreciate it. And doggone, I'm just. It's gonna. I'm. I'm getting stronger and stronger. And I try doing the tube of light. I, it's. It's a decree on. Uh, on our website. Do that three times a night. It helps. It does a real good protection around you. Do that before you go to sleep. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Bye, Rhonda. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, Miss Lily. I have birds chirping. I have a dog snoring next to us. It, this house is a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The next one is Maria. Oh, Maria. Yeah, you are in. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Hello going to depression whatever you can do to help me Let's see what's going on let's do a body scan all right she's got one of those um in her back as well phil okay she also has a lost soul do you know what a lost soul is i have a little girl that died and she's um she didn't cross over she didn't cross over she saw your energy and she attached herself to you that could be causing your depression she means no harm she doesn't know that it's affecting you like that. She's about 12. And she's always crying. Do you hear crying? Oh, I cry myself very often. Do, do you hear crying? Do you hear crying inside? No? I, I cry right. myself very often. This little girl inside of you cries all the time. So her emotions are affecting you. Yeah, Deb, I feel something with the art chakra. Like a, uh... you, you see the little girl there? I'm, I'm just seeing the arch. I feel the arch. I feel very sad. Yeah. So you've got a, a few things going on. So I'm, I'm going to um, bring the little girl home to the light. Mother Mary's here. So just hold tight for a minute so we take care of a few things and it will make you feel lighter. Just give me a moment. Her name's Elizabeth. Okay. She's gone to the light. Do you mind me asking of you or anyone in your family lost a baby for three years? This sounds like family. It feels like it's in the family. Has anyone lost a baby? Any of your brother's wives? One lost one before war. Okay. The first one's so quick and I don't know what I'm I'll go with that. Have you lost a child? No. When did you start crying? Well, since I have been like this, I, I cry. Very often, more than one month. More than a month. Do you know anything specific that happened? Did sing anything? Do you work? Did things change at work? No. Do people come to you and talk to you about their problems? Yeah. And when you go home, do you think about their problems? Do you feel bad for them? I just don't feel worried. Yeah. Did you know? Did you know that you're an empath? Do you know what an empath is? Yeah. So when you're an empath, you, t you, you, you feel their energies. When people talk to you, you take on their problems. Do you know that, that, that when you do that, you have to release it somewhere? You have to let go because their problems are not your problems. And when you don't do that, it builds up. It's like carrying boxes and boxes and boxes, like rocks piling up and piling up and piling Maria? up. And eventually, you have a nervous breakdown. Maria, Maria picks up energies from... 
all sorts of places. She finds it really difficult to be in busy places because there's lots of really negative energy. And there's some good energy too, but she picks up all the bad stuff, all the negative stuff very easily. There'll be places we go into and she'll say, I don't want to be here and we have to leave quickly. Yes, yes. She's very, very strong in that way. So what happens is you, you, you have to release it because it's not yours. And you have to, like if you take a, a crystal and you, you, you release their negativity, their, their problems, because they're not your problems. Into your, into the and that's why you're crying, because you built up all of their problems and, and you don't know why you're crying. It's their problems. They're not your problems. You're taking on all their issues. There's no reason for you to be crying. Everything that's going on in the world, you're picking up all that energy. You gotta release it. It's not yours. Do you understand? I'm an empath. I I feel I read energies. That's why I do what I do. <clears throat> if if a, if a if a dead person walks in the room, I can feel their energy. That's it. I I know who's here. If Archangel Michael is next to me, I know it's Archangel Michael. That's energy reading. Everybody has an energy signature. Everybody. And you have that gift. So if you if you can learn to control it, you will learn how, how to do that too. It's a gift. It's not a curse. It's a gift. So now you have to release it. Release it all. The best way of releasing it is a walk in the woodlands or a river. Um, yes. I've just cleared a lot of it. So can you feel the difference now? Do you feel different now? Got rid of a lot of it. It's like stress. The only problem when you get rid of it, it becomes like a vacuum. You got to replace it with love and light. Not really. Not. Yeah, it's it's wonderful to to be an empath and to be an energy reader, but controlling the the intake of people's energy or people's problems and remembering that it's not your journey; it's their journey. You know, letting go of their issues, you have to let it go. It's not yours. It's really, really important. So you have such a bright light around you. You're such a loving, beautiful person. That that little girl wanted to take a ride with you because she thought your white light was was where she was supposed to go. So we sent Elizabeth home to the light with Mother Mary. Now the the little implant that was on you is a lot of uh, light workers are getting it because they want to control us. They don't want us to to keep the vibration of the planet that this high. They want us to fail. So that's been removed. So just keep doing what you're doing. Just don't hang on to this stuff. Take a walk, put your hand on a tree, ground yourself every day. You know how to ground yourself? You can. Yeah. You can today in the morning, walking the barefoot on the, on the grass. On the grass. Yeah. Then if it gets cold outside, just put your hand on a tree, but you need it, 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 just learn to release all their issues. They're not yours. Just learn to get, let it go. You can, it's nice to listen to somebody. And let them tell you their troubles, but don't take it on. You have to be neutral. Yes. You know, understanding, but neutral. It's not your issue. I haven't been listening uh, very often. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been talking with many people anyway. Do you ever do meditation? I'm on antidepressants. Yeah, but we, we, we do meditation almost every evening. Mm -hmm. And quite a few mornings as well with uh, Master... Uh, Chococcy. Yeah, chococcy. How long have you, how many years have you had the Depression is uh, recently. I, mm. I had uh, another one before the, the pandemic. Mm. Um, I recovered and um, yeah, I had, I got COVID on, um, on April. Uh, and yes, one roughly one month and half, I have been feeling really quite down. Uh, and I'm on antidepressants. Did um, did either one of you get the um, lollipop, the Jabberwocky? What is that? I don't know. I Sorry. don't know what that is. The arm thing that they that they forced on people. You know, we can't say it, or else we get edited out. We get we can't say it on YouTube. The thing that they put in your arm. Okay. You can't yeah. say it. The one that you can't say. I do. I didn't realize there was one that you can't say. Me, uh, um, I had three. Okay. I had Did two she? in the booster, but Maria didn't have any. We both okay. had COVID 
they both had COVID at the same time. Maria, the symptoms were light as mine were. Maria didn't have the injection yet, and yet I did. Okay. Um, I, um, are you interested in us having removing the lollipop lollipop from <laughs> the, from your the, system? No, the, the the what's not for your good for your good, babe. You can keep it, but anything that's not for your uh, good, we can uh, get rid of it. Yeah, anything that's not good for your body, we can re remove. Do you understand what we're saying? Yeah, um, yeah, I do understand what you're saying, but I, to to a degree. But I didn't realize there was anything particularly negative in that lollipop. A lot, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly, yeah. Um, well, my my difficulty would be would be having the faith in that. I think having faith in that. Um, yeah, I'm 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 very science based. Um, okay. So, but I'm, again, I don't feel that it's it has done me any good or any bad. Mm. But Maria didn't want to take it. To she had that faith, she did and that feeling that she didn't want to put anything like that in her body. Yeah, I agree with her. And 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 I'm I, I don't have any problems with the, the Novak Djokovic. You know, I, yeah. I have no problem with people who are who are against it. No problem at all. It's everyone's own personal choice. Always. Yeah. I agree. I agree with you. Although in this country, um, we in the UK as well, uh, Philip. Yeah. Uh, um, we're over near Cambridge, and uh, they did, as you know, try to force the health workers to have it, but that's all gone away. Thank goodness. Uh, mm -hmm. That would have been outrageous. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but uh, let's go uh, back on the healing subject before we've got to yeah. edit so much of this. He's in the UK. Yeah, he's in the UK. Um, we're in Arizona in the United States. Yeah. But we've talked to you before, Maria, Merck and yeah. I. Do you feel better? I'm looking forward to feel the difference. Well, now I just can feel my voice is coming out a bit better. Mm. Keep in mind, any energy that we send you today, it stays with you for a week. The, the thing is, if, if you had a lost soul who's very depressed, you transferred onto you. Now, this lost soul is now back to the source. But you've still got that feeling. It's very. It takes like instant sometimes. By morning, yeah. Can... By, mor by morning. By morning, and and it, be willing to accept all this healing too, because if people don't accept it, it's never ever going to work. You have to want it. I'm looking for it. You can give them a card. Tell Just them set. when to stop. Tell. Yeah. Cool. So study spiritual growth. Stop yeah. fearing your situations. Follow your art and let your growth flow. And, uh, I couldn't un couldn't understand you repeat please. Yeah, stop fearing your situations. Follow your art and let your growth flow without any blockages. And study, look for new skills and ideas for growth. You could be in this. Uh, you could be in this depression because you're not doing fully your spiritual. So it might be might be worth going into some, some spiritual. What you what you want to do? So it it could be. Sometimes if you're not doing your spiritual path that you're meant to be here, it can make you feel depressed and ill. So does that make any sense? Is there anything spiritual that you'd like to do? No. Our, we, we, we do lead meditation. Um, we have a, a, a lady in, in Bath um, and uh, she has asked Maria on many occasions if she would like to study to become a healer. But <laughs> Maria... Maria is a healer. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, I see something in Maria deep inside. I have seen it since I met her. Um, but Maria hasn't seemed to have that interest. But maybe maybe you'll look further. Maybe you will. I might be worth trying it and seeing how it, how you feel. Yeah, is it okay if I just say something to Maria? Yeah. Um I'm getting Maria. Um you pick up on a lot of collective energies and the air element would benefit you. Um, even if you stood somewhere in the wind and let the wind take the load from you and um, imagine filling your belly with golden light and even going somewhere alone. And I know it sounds silly, but scream therapy. You need to scream it in the wind because stuck it's stuck in you and you're feeling very low and it's you're almost um carrying it it's very dense 
And I think the fastest way out for you would be to call on the air element and when you eventually feel a build-up of it, because you're very flat at the moment, to scream it out. Thank you, And I feel for you that will be the fastest way because um, you're almost, your energy is almost flatlined and it's almost like, the reason you don't want to be around people is because you know it affects you. And in, in, in a way, it's, it is protecting you because you're at your limit anyway. You're at your limit. You're at your limit with it anyway. So in the, I would suggest that you fill your belly with some golden lights and it will almost be like a pressure cooker. Just fill it and push it out. And the air element of air... Um, when it, you find a windy day, just stand there and let it blow it, call on the element of air to blow it off you out of the layers of your aura. One, two, three. Yeah, pretty much all of them. The, the other thing is at the moment, the energies have been very, very strange the last four or five weeks. So that one, you're picking up. There's a lot of people been quite angry and you might be picking up that anger. Did you anger? I don't think so. I'm aware of feeling anger. Are you are you taking some medication at the moment? Yes, antidepressants. Yeah, because that that's like um, I felt a feeling of somebody who's been on antidepressants before, and it's almost like it's there, but it's 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 dull and it's deadened, but it but it's still there. It's just a a dead feeling, and that needs to um, be expressed and released because it just feels like. Um, yeah, it just feels like it, it, it puts a density on it, but it doesn't take it away. Does that make sense? I, can, I can't understand the, the, those things. I uh, don't know what I need to release. Uh, it's it, You don't have to see it and you don't have to um, feel into it. It's when something becomes so bright, whatever's there can't hide so we, that's why I said about filling with the golden light, um, illuminating, pushing, pushing that shadow or whatever it is, whatever that density is. That feeling of um, sadness, that he- that feeling of of of, of sadness of um, feels like collective. It doesn't. Um, it feels like collective energies, and I know because I pick up on a lot of collective energies and. Uh, it feels like a, I think you've been in it that long. You've got used to it, and it's become a norm. But you will, you will find find your way with it. But you, even if you take a tiny step, you haven't got to do it all at once. As to say that that isn't yours, to acknowledge that all of it isn't yours, and that you do know one thing that it's not all yours. Just a tiny step every day. I hope that helps. Yeah, apart from the being in front, uh, facing the wind. What more can I do? Well, she certainly couldn't scream in a, within a 40 mile radius up here at the top of her voice because we're so densely populated in this area. Mm. Uh, but we are going somewhere where we can in the next week or two. And I, I'll send Maria up the hill to uh, find a place where she can scream. Yeah. And, and if she finds nothing comes out, don't force it. Just if she can. That would that would be the fastest way. And with you going somewhere pretty soon, if she takes small steps towards that, by like you say, she does the daily meditations and things, call in um, golden light. Golden light. Golden light. It's 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 really Christed light, but it depends on your faith or whatever. Just whatever it is, just call on golden light. Phil, and why yeah. I say your belly. <laughs> no, I meant fill with an F. <laughs> fill your belly with that. You don't have to know what chakras are. Just go for your belly area and just fill it with golden light. When you do your, your meditations, bring that that energy into it, golden light. And I'm sure as you start doing that, you'll start re-energising yourself. I would, also, I would also say in the morning, do you do positive affirmations? Yeah, we do all that with the meditation. I think with meditation and I've been there and I've been you can be at a space where it can feel quite inauthentic to do 
positive affirmations and gratitude because it feels quite empty in its words when you when you reach a certain level and i say that from personal experience but if you find little things even if you can say i'm grateful that i opened my eyes this morning or even if you're at a lower point where you're like oh god gosh another day it can be that in that meditation, I call on this golden light, even if it's a little dot at first, if you see it or you feel it. And when you find that little chink coming up and you might, you might creep up on you a bit like when you've been in deep grief and then you suddenly realise that you don't feel that heavy anymore. The grief hasn't gone away. You've worked your way through it. Um, it's something that will grow bigger. A tiny light will grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually you can't, flick a switch with it from overnight that's what I'm getting with it so yeah. do it and start your affirmations and your gratitude from a place of authenticity and then you'll build those very strong firm foundations and where you're meant to go from then you'll do from a higher vibration you'll do it from a higher vibration and you'll believe in yourself then you won't be it'll, it'll come from self does that make sense I don't know if I'm explaining it in a way that you'll understand yeah and now you need well I don't like to say the word need because that implies that somebody else has got control but if you decide that you want to feel better you've got steps to take because the only reason I've learned that you can stay where you are is sometimes there's a benefit to it and that can be a subconscious benefit or a coping mechanism benefit, but there will be some benefit to it. So you in, you can go deeper in your meditation with it and find what that is and, and decide what you're going to do about it, because only you can do that. There is no benefit on staying in this place. No, no, there isn't. But to say that, to not take those steps, you can't see it, it'll be a subconscious. Because if you've been told before to do that, and have you done that? Keep doing the meditation. It's, it, you're doing a guided meditation. You need to reconnect with you, the essence of you. Yeah, he's guided. He's alive. He's a group. It's a yes, group. Like meditation inward. You you listen outward, but you connect with you, your essence to connect to. I know people say higher self, but another aspect of you that's at a higher frequency. It's still you. What she basically is saying, you need to increase your vibration. The easiest way is to partially merge with a aspect, a past life, an aspect that's very high vibration, and your energy goes up. And as your own energy goes up, at the moment you're in a very low vibration. But I find you've got to find a way of lifting that vibration. We can and send healing. It can be, um, I don't know, um, a, ref a refreshing beverage that you really like, a, a specific fruit juice or a specific food. It can be anything. Small to start with that gratitude. For me, recently, it's a taste of raspberries. I, 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 I really adore that and I'm really grateful for that. That's a good thing, that one thing. Start small and um, from then you can start blessing your food and that feeling that you really like it, you could actually put your hands over your food and send that feeling into other foods and that will lift your vibration. Yeah, I know that. Even my appetite is... Uh... Yeah. So small things are like little, small fruits, fruit juices, anything, yeah. anything that you can you can eat. Yeah, we that, are... And that lift you. We used to make juice almost on a daily basis. Uh, fruit juice. Fresh fruit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely brilliant. And, and having that taste back. I know a lot of people who've... Um, had certain illnesses and lost the taste, sense of taste and smell. I've been really grateful to get that. It's something you take for granted, just little things, but that will list up. You, you'll have a foundation to build on you. There's no need to stay where you are. You, I know you don't want to, but you, you at the minute you haven't got that little thread to build on, but you, you, know, you know what you like. Can I say, did you have any difficulties when you were a child? Many. Well, they, you are hanging on to them, and that's what's creating a lot of the difference. So I would say, I always recommend this, Nikki, Nikki, or is it Nikki Sutton, uh, basically healing your soul from your 
trauma from when you were a child would probably lift you because every time something went wrong a difficulty in your life you hold it on to that and especially you hold on to everyone's pain imagine your own your own will be a lot bigger and you won't have released it so you need to find a way of releasing it and it's uh Nikki Sutton's not soul repair I think it is so I'd recommend this and that. And basically, you've got to visualize in the meditation to go back to your child that was having the trauma. And you've got to say to yourself, you're going to be okay. You're going to be all right. And you've got to give yourself an oak. Your inner, it's like your inner child needs repair. At the moment, it's disconnected. And it just needs, you need to repair your soul to all the problems. Every problem you've ever had, you're holding it on to. And that is making it very, 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 very difficult. Is that a book yeah. or a or YouTube ch the channel or yeah it's she, oh, everything's free on it Nikki Sutton she's got loads of them but Nikki Sutton soul repair okay thank you okay we really need to move on yeah, yeah. I quickly get hold of me privately I'm going to gift you on my meditation album okay it's just strictly instrumental I love to gift that to you guys thank you Ernestine thank you very much you can contact us we can give you Ernestine's information all right next hey the next one is bonnie bonnie hey there mm -hmm. hi bonnie you need a scan and some healing please and thank you last week's was interesting so i wasn't really sure how to do self-care and i had to go back to work so sorry about the snoring dog <laughs> i don't think that's the dog and i don't think it's snoring yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor marley Oh my gosh, where is she? Oh, she's underneath my chair. <laughs> Rick, you're distracting me. Sit down. She's not going to go outside. What's been going on this week, Bonnie? Um, well, after you guys did that last week and Phil worked on my back, um, I actually own my own company and it was more labor intensive than I normally do. And it, I think, tweaked me. Well, I see a, <laughs> the same implant in your back and both of the individuals that i'm working with both have had all of the um flavors of lollipops well uh, and it's been painful I, i've tried everything even doing a deep coma state of sleep to try and heal my your nervous back's, system. your back's bothering you it's been painful so i wasn't sure if it would you know what kind of self-care after last week um so i've been doing the epsom salt um yeah and it it's physically been painful yeah well put one of those little um it looks just like a little plane well she's got one in her leg too that's the weirdest thing one of your legs bothering you like your calf the the right leg gets it but i was really trying to work on because it was um affecting my nerves like they were on fire yeah. That happened That's Wednesday. So Wednesday, I think. So she's double droned. And right now, the only uh, clients that I am getting are the ones that have. Uh, and I also had something interesting happen yesterday, this morning, where and Victoria and I were actually kind of conversing in the chat line. Mine was it's it's the mirror thing. She's it's uh, redirection. I kept feeling there was still some type of redirection, but it's the only way I can get income right now. And the clients, I mean, completely dropped down. So you're um, below the um, implant though. I see on one of your discs is really, really bulging. I've been trying to stretch a little bit at a time um, and soaking. So you know, um, the, the Epsom salt bath, bath is really good, but first, are we going to remove these Phil? Uh, I'm actually, even though I've got a way of finding where it goes to do with time okay. and stuff like that. Okay. We'll remove it in a minute. All right. It's got Bluetooth in both arms. I'm going to take a look at something else when you're done. Yeah, we can take it out. I had to, I had to go in a timeline when it was activated, find out where it was, then go into my timeline this time and just delete it. We can delete it. All right. Now we can or no? Yeah. I'll start repairing you back. Do you see, there's a square, I don't know how to describe it. It's this thing in her forehead. What, a brain? No, on her oh. forehead. <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah, I am definitely hard-headed, Phil. 
It almost looks like a screen. It's a rectangular. I don't know what it is. It kind of looks like a, I don't know, it looks kind of like a screen of some sort. It's flat. I don't feel a low vibration. What is that thing? It almost looks like an x-ray of a DNA. I was kind of weird. Baby, you're going to have to wait a minute. Just weird. It's, I don't know what, what it is, and I don't know what's doing there. Why is it there? I don't feel bad that badly. Mm -hmm. I don't feel bad. I'm at, no one's answering me. I don't feel well. Huh? Could be something from, from the past life. How's your back? How's your back? Just a little stiff. Yeah. Because I also uh, had a... This time, I've I've also um, had um, problems with my left hip, so the spine itself feels much better. I don't feel that pressure on the lower part of my back mm -hmm. anymore. Good. Um, it's uh, the left left hip, but it's actually more um, ligament than it is bone. It could be that removing one pain span the other pain. You know, like sometimes you have a pain somewhere. When that goes, you find out where other pains are it could be a something we didn't you know it, it's now come out because the others don't you get what i mean you get what i mean yeah it's kind of like um depending on which one's worse at the time do you have and deb wrong? is this some do you have an out wrong with your knee as well no which no. one no the left one no i do have a um um tumor or a benign growth on the instep of my left foot but I haven't really had problems with my knee, just my left hip. Again, it could be your knee that's creating the pain. Yeah, sometimes where the pain is, is not where the problem is. Can, yeah, ligament. It was, um, the, the left hip is where it was misdiagnosed for eight years and it shortened the ligament because the joint was out of the hip. Well, my little bitty kitty is helping out too because he's crying at the door to come in. <laughs> I heard him. Oh yeah, he's... Okay. And I do have a heating pad on that area. I think maybe I should have told you that. That's all right. That's not, that never, nothing's going to interfere with the healing. So don't worry. Heating pads are great. That or the ice pack, but I was going to do an ice bath yesterday, but I just, I just could not do it. My animals must know you're, you're doing something with me because now they're all at the door and I closed the door before I came on the meeting. What happened? Who's that? Hmm. That's nice. Who's that? Libby. Libby's Libby's screen. She's accidentally shared her screen or on purpose. I'm not sure. Oh, Libby. Did it go away? Yeah. What was that all about? Touching buttons on my new phone, trying to get better. And I see all my buttons at the bottom now. I apologize. I didn't mean for that to show up. That has to do with my Wednesday night sessions. I'm so sorry, y'all. I got to find a picture of me. It'll take a sec. I'm muting. <laughs> oh, Libby. I'm a shit show. <laughs> That's what the Wednesday <laughs> night moderator calls me. Libby, oh, night. I think it's a shit show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. God, so okay. embarrassing. All right, we're in the middle of the healing here. It almost felt like a post-it note getting ripped off my forehead. It's gone. You know, like if you stuck a post-it note and you went like that, that's what it just felt like. But I got pain like right there too. That might have been doing a bit of controlling. On you. It might have been a control you. It made me nauseous. Well, I feel more oxygen and more energy coming into my, yeah, like my whole, I can get deep breaths now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Let now me, that's me, me messing with me, man. How was your hip doing, Anna? Pardon? How was your hip doing? I'm doing work on your hip. You feel it? On my head? Yeah. Hips. Yeah. Hips. Hips. Oh, Hips. Uh, it, it's his um, much better. The, the left one doesn't feel like that sharp pain is in there anymore. Mm. But that's one that goes, the ligaments that go into the groin muscle, and I have to do specific exercises in order to keep that ligament limber. So I'll it's try, not so I'll, I'll try and move the ligament. Obviously it's in the wrong place to be able to do You'll that. You'll try what? I'll try and move, move it. Moving. Move the, the lig ligament. ligament. Perfect. I've tried that myself, but it's- um, That thing was a past life, but it wasn't on um, earth. I don't think it was. 
I saw some kind of being, but it was nothing I've seen before. That thing. I don't know. It wasn't. I don't think it was a um the the past life it came from was not on this planet. It was on past life from not. I don't even think it was in this galaxy. If it was, I don't know anything about it. But I keep seeing a picture of the being that came from. I've never seen it. It was like kind of psychotic. But it it was had one eye, it had one tooth, and one like the jaw was. It was just weird. I can't even describe it. I wish I was an artist. I don't know. I'm beginning to think. I'm just glad that I face some of the challenges that I know how to do. But when you're saying, when you guys are talking, it's like, okay, so I'll get type images, but I write it down because it's like nowhere relative at all. But I, it explains though the mirror effect that I kept getting this weird, you know, feeling. I didn't know if it was physical or mental. Like in my brain, in my head. Yeah. Well, trust all these messages and what the what things that you see. I, you know, when you learn to trust it, then you know. I mean, when you have dreams and stuff, like I don't remember my dreams, and when I do remember my dreams, I know that there's a reason, and it's a very important. Yeah. It's really important. So I, I write things down then. Um, so and like when I see visions and I see something, I know that there's a reason I'm seeing it. I get a message. I know that I have to trust the message. So I don't. Well, wanna, this is help tremendously having these conversations with everybody because I've kept all this to myself. It's only been since February that I've, um, you know, really been in like Facebook groups. And I mean, I've known David Starr for about six or seven years, but it's these group settings that are really, especially right now, because really weird. Yeah. Um, I call it mutations of the games that are getting played. Oh, yeah. Well, it's the end. It's the end of evil. That's why. It's the end of evil. Yeah, exactly. On Earth, on and Earth. what? On Earth. On Earth. Yes. yes. Yeah. So it's the end of the evil for this planet, this this plane, rather. Let us know if you it's better. Don't sort of your ligament. Yeah. And that, we've done the healing he's done. And this stays with you for a week. And then your body absorbs the energy into it. So. What's the best kid? That's the question I didn't ask last time was self care. Cause the old way isn't to me, isn't going to really work other than like the Epsom salt and me stretching. Drink a lot of water. Um, yeah, I do. And then I noticed because that hip or my um, female parts were worked on last week. I've had to go to the bathroom. Usually you can hold it for a little while. Yeah. Not this last <laughs> week. Cause you're drinking it's more like, water. Uh, no, I got to go like right. Now. Well, it's also sore when that all happened. It's all relative. So yeah, it's like, well, it's sore. So you can't do those, you know, muscle holding like normal because they're just sore. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm very, very grateful for being able to connect like this because of the things I went through by myself. But it's nice, you know, kind of to hear that it does make sense to me, but I, when I hear other people's uh, perceptions of things, I don't know. I just, you just get a warm, fuzzy feeling that it's like, well, I've known I've never been alone. It's just now putting a face to some of these um, earth angels and getting to see them and meet them from the elemental world. Yeah. <laughs> you got to say stop. Stop. Okay. Take care of your body. Gets a bit of frequency down. I can't get what that says, Phil. Body care and music. Body care, they are telling you to take care of your physical body and the music. Have more music and frequency to get grounded. Yeah, I use it to stretch. Yeah. I just came on to a new type of music, dance, because I love to dance. Mm -hmm. That's been keeping me more um, trying to limber up that space that makes it easier. Yeah. But then <laughs> I'm just trying different new things. Ooh, my legs just got cold. Maybe I need to get up. That feels great, though. Yeah, you don't have to dance now for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, y'all. I appreciate You're it. Welcome. You're welcome. All righty. Next. Now the next one is George. You are in. It's requested hey, everyone. for healing here. Hi, Hi George. Uh, hello. Yeah, I would like a quick scan and a healing, maybe. You having any issues, George? I don't see anything. I got an infection in my armpit. I don't know, but I think it's getting better. Infection? 
yeah, there's something like a rash, but oh, a rash. Yeah. Is it like impetigo, impetigo, however you pronounce it? Mm, it feels itchy and it's red. I I don't really know what it it's. Is. I'm getting impet impetigo, impetigo. It's um, do you feel your skin heating up? Mm, a little bit. Okay, Phil, do you have anything? Not really. The, the spirit's telling me you've got to forgive someone or something or something when you're a child. And I don't know. Just carrying something, you've got to forgive something. Do you make any sense of that? Mm. I don't know. But you're carrying mm. on to something. I don't really know. There you go. I think about it. Maybe. It's just that you, you can carry baggage. and. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Stop and sleep. Just say stop if you want two cards. Stop. Wow, too decent. Uh, retreat and balance. But for the balance, balance is a very weird one. They just you're very busy at the time, but you still got to, still have balance spiritual, I believe. And the retreat is also having a rest from uh, a break from your journey to, to slow. So this could be a journey of, of something. It doesn't have to be spiritual. You could have a, a break from one to get some balance of the other one. You balance your life spiritual in 3D. That actually makes makes, that makes more sense now. What I'm saying, yeah, to get balance, you have a, you've got to have a break from one, so you got to balance. All right. Thank okay. you, everyone. And I, I did I put healing on the on your rash to try and make make it heal. Yeah, I think it's from the gym and from sweating. I think. Yeah. Bye. Thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome. Lily. Oh no, you are in Ernestine. Pardon. Ernestine. Ernestine. Okay. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. So, I've been, my body's starting to spasm out because I just think it's just tight, tense for what's coming up. And that, um, I just want, if you, if there's anything that's restricting my body, can you help me to release? Potassium. Eat some bananas. If anyone can, it's actually say you're drinking way too much water. <laughs> <laughs> i've never had anyone drink too much water you're drinking way too much water you're actually, actually i you're drinking so much water you're flushing all the vitamins out of your body <laughs> are you drinking a lot of water <laughs> do you take vitamins <laughs> you're not giving them a chance to stay in your body well that would explain it because i'm literally like you said i'm flushing it right through because i'm yeah. you're flushing them right out you're not even getting, giving them a chance to stay in your body. So your body's spasming. So yeah. there's no potassium. So let the vitamins work and then guzzle them. <laughs> Are you sweating? Are you sweating a lot? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So when you're flushing all the vitamins out, so you're, 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 you're when you spasm, that means you're low on potassium. Okay. All this, hmm. just a few seconds. <laughs> Wow, it's hard to imagine too much water. <laughs> just that's still just like what? Well, you're well, yeah. I mean, the water's good, but you're actually, um, yeah, overdoing it. Yeah, no, no, I, no you're, you're. I think I, you're it, you're sweating out everything, and then you're drinking a lot of water, and you're sweating it all out again. So I, think, I, think, I think it's the timing with the vitamins to when you're having the water. When do you take your vitamins? Usually in the morning. Take them at bedtime. Okay. Actually, that makes perfect sense. As soon as you said it, it, got it, got it. I will start programming. I take, I take everything at bedtime, everything. And then your body gets all the vitamins. You're sleeping through it. Instead of me flushing it through the, the day. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. I would, yeah. I'd like to share something with you guys. Oh, that is so beautiful. That's amazing. A friend of mine gifted this to me. This is my dad's guitar, and it's all hand drawn. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah. And another friend, without them knowing that each other did this, this is the other one that was sent to me. Amazing. Is that going to be your artwork for your records or your CDs? Mm -mm, mm -mm. No. no, no, that's sacred. But last you knew of it. Pardon? Special guitars, sacred guitars. Exactly. <laughs> it's it's going to be going up here, right in yeah. front of me. Yeah. In nice. my studio. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's say, beautiful. Say stop. Stop. Uh, dreams, you're, getting, dreams. You're, getting, you're getting a download too while we're talking. <laughs> yeah, dreams. You, be, you sent messages in your dreams. 
Yeah, you probably play the guitar with what you've been saying. Mm-hmm. And a new love, open your heart, divine love, a possible new friend uh, is coming away. Hmm. I've been hearing from, I've had two different people message me. Well, actually one person messaged me, the other one was in Sology Fest group. Um, that for those who don't know that Sology is happening this, not this weekend, of course not, next weekend is Sology Fest. And you can watch it online. Just go to sologyfest.com. All the information is there. But also in the last couple of days, two different people without them knowing each other. And this is what I love about true messages, right? That this has the word to say this. This is okay. Is this is the beginning for me at Sology Fest? That's it's, just, it's just the beginning. Yeah. And uh, a friend of mine last night, when she was on live, and so I walked. It was just her and me. So she tapped into my energy. She was, she was telling me all this stuff, and I could just feel it. And I've been feeling it inside, but it's just. That's wonderful. It is. It really is. I'm very excited for you. Thank you. I'm excited for me too. Very excited. Scary, but not scary, like freaky scary. Just like, it's just, you know, I'm going to be traveling the world. Sharing my music. Yeah. Sharing your your beautiful music. Yeah. And this one thing that that's coming about Sology as well, that, um, that all of us soul families, we are, I'm not sure this is the right language around it, but this is what I'm going to say is we are the pillars for all the earth people to learn from. We're going to be their healers, going to reach out to us, and we're going to be their guidance to who they really are. So that's what all of us are. Don't force it. They will come. And it's, it's going to be incredible for the next year or two. Just amazing. Thank you, guys. You're welcome, honey. Mwah. Yeah, you, you too. Yeah, you look really good, by the way. Yeah, you compared do. With, compared with when you a few months ago. Oh, good. Yeah, a lot. And I can't. And this is one thing which I would like to sh- share just with what Phil is saying. With our journeys, it's an individual journey. Don't compare what other people are doing or what they are saying. It is your individual journey. It's from within. And don't compare. If I was to compare myself with Phil and, and Deb and Rick, I'm taken away from me. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not sure the lady's name, uh, Kevin's partner. I believe it's his partner. And if I've been correct, my apologies, but I believe I'm correct. But, you know, with her, I can so relate to you. And I'm going to ask you to get hold of me. I sent a private message already, but please get hold of me because it is such a lonely journey <clears throat> that we are all on individually. But we're actually not alone because there's soul family, not the outside world. We're talking about soul family. We are the only ones who truly relate to what you are going through, all of us are going through, because we've all been there. Yes. No right way. There's no wrong way. It's an individual journey. And I'm very proud of her. And she's going to understand more about who she is because my, you know, yeah, it's just your your world's just starting. And I'm looking forward for her and her life. I'm going to say, see you guys later. I got to go. I have so much stuff I got to get done. Yes, you do. You got a trip to get ready for. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that. So blessings, everybody. And I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. Okay. And, oh, by the way, what, sorry. Who are you Kevin. talking about to me for a while? I heard about Kevin's, Kevin's partner. Okay. Just get hold of me privately, right, is is... When I say this, what is your first name, by the way? Maria. 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 Hi, Maria. Um, You're there's so much stuff inside of you. Everything you need to know is within you. Do not compare yourself to anybody else. This is your journey, but it's a journey back to self. And I know for myself this past January when I connected with this amazing young woman and that and we were just talking. And she took all that stuff that I've been feeling my entire life. Now I completely understand. I've been sort of understanding to a degree, but with her, I completely understood why I feel the way I feel, blah, 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 blah. Right. And I'm very proud of you, Marie, because for you to come here today and to be vulnerable, to speak what's going on, I, I, I applaud you. You already look better, Maria. You already look better. 
Yeah, thank you. <laughs> From the very beginning when we signed on, yeah. you look better. Much different. You're already glowing. So there's already a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're around soul family. This is soul family that's here that you're amongst. And it just means people who see you for who you are. If anybody tries to tell you, you have to see it this way or that way, or you have to feel this way, tell them the fuck off. <laughs> 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 because nobody has the right to tell you how to feel. It's your feelings and your journey is your journey. So do not, you know, when. Very true. <laughs> when, when people start telling, oh, it's, it's just craziness, but I want to encourage you very much, Marie, uh, get hold of me privately. And I have a gift for you, which is my, one of my meditation albums. I'd like to gift you. And I think it will help. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Now I'm going to say goodbye. Okay, see you in a few weeks. We love you. Safe journey. Okay. Bye. Okay, Lily, who's next? The next one is Jillian. Jillian Spooner. Jillian Spooner. Oh my. <laughs> It'll be interesting. <laughs> oh my God, what's happened to you? I haven't seen you in forever. <laughs> Oh, dare I ask? Go on, then I'll let you come me. <laughs> okay, what can I find today? Just another layer. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> have you got one of those too? Of course we have. Oh, good Lord. You sure it's just... <laughs> it's in her back, where they all are. Oh, something's had a right to play with my back. They were almost like, if you get a belt, have you ever got a belt as a kid? I need to smoke a joint before I, before I scan you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do. I'm just kidding. I, said you stole. I know I'm silly. I don't, listen, I, I, haven't smoked, I haven't smoked a joint since junior high school. <laughs> they, we don't agree with each other. Yeah, you're on the art stuff now, Deb, aren't you? What? It's legal in Arizona. I, I, no, you, you, you moved up a bit. You're on the ad stuff. Oh, no, marijuana and I don't like each other. Unfortunately, we divorced each other in, in, in the 70s. <laughs> you have, but you have one of those flying things in your back. I can't believe it. So you're very familiar with them. Did it just happen? Um. It was almost like I messaged um, Bill. I think Andrew, my partner, got one face. I'm not sure his was the same. But it was almost like, you know, as a kid, did you ever get a leather belt fastening to make that snapping noise? You know, when you pull it in and out? That's what it was doing on my muscle on my back. Like a towel, a wet towel. Yeah. Now, yeah, and it almost that noise, but it was almost like um, fastening a leather belt and pushing it in, making that like a snapping noise. Or was it like that? Was it like that paper cardboard with a plastic, and you used to whack it, and it used to snap? Yeah. The old days. <laughs> oh, it gave me Jeff. That did. I don't swear very often, and There's I was a Bluetooth. To do <coughs> Left or right arm, or is it in your yeah. arm? Is it in your leg? Uh, knee, my knees feel done. Left knee. Left knee. My left knee is always done, <laughs> but they're both feeling done. She's got another one. You got it. She, they actually put two in her. You sure it's just the two? <laughs> Only two. I'm slack. I'm, I feel unimportant. They're always. You are important. No, if I've only got two. <laughs> yeah, you do have two. No, I meant I, I was expecting more. Yeah, I've got. I, I'm not done scanning. You may have more. You want me to manifest any? Oh my God. <laughs> She's got. She does have three. Uh, and I've got some. Um, silt at the back of my neck from clearing can you ask him for a new britta filter well you, you've got a drone in the back of your neck too you didn't feel it yeah. and uh, yeah it, um, it crunches when i move it's like silt <sighs> yeah something's been giving me something in your eye too yeah on the the right left eye well is it the bluetooth I'm not, I'm not sure but in the middle of the night i got up to open the window because it was so hot and something poked, like sharp, poked me in the eye, and I haven't had that for a long time. You got something in the right eye too. Yeah, I don't take any notice now. I just go sleep. 
And I don't know how they're going, getting in because I call in golden light to the walls, the windows, the air vents, the chimney, the floors, the ceilings, the doors. I don't know what more I can do. You didn't do the violet flame? Uh, yeah, with um, I did lilac. I thought we did it before. Didn't we do it before? Yeah. My hands are sweaty. I keep having these really hot sweats. And Andrew does as well. They, um, they go as fast as they come. Something's piggybacking off the new higher frequency as well. It's like a, um, a droning noise, a droning frequency. Well, these are um, a high force, force frequency. Yeah, they, they're a bit like um, the, noise I, the noise I hear is almost like a, a plane engine. Like, but not as loud. But it's piggybacking off um, higher frequencies. I still, I can still hear the higher. Do you have check for the uh, implants now? Well, come, come, Joe. Just moving implants. All right, they're gone. Could you um please check um my left neck to the little toe? That tracker. And I think with something on the inside of my arms as well. I think yeah, you've thing got you've got a tracker. Uh, reactivation program somewhere like a like a like a round microchip thing you're what like a you know a, a microchip but it's round it reactivates everything when you when people move things where is it might be on the inside of my arms let me just have a look and there might be something on my spine here i can't see you yes on the inside somewhere Right here. Me, have, have a look. You'd have to look. I see, can see it. Joey I can see I, it. Joey, I see you're well perceptive there. Sorry. I, I, I feel like they just send me. I can see. I can see where you're talking about. Both arms about this. There's um, it's one right before the elbow on the inside of the arm. Mm. That's been causing a bit of um, numbness and, and aching in my, in my fingers and my joints. In the joints on my fingers. J Jillian, have you had a very low vibration lately? Like very low in, within yourself? No, no, but I've picked it up off um, people around me who haven't been very well. Yeah, you need to pick that up, aren't you? You need to lift it. That's how they're getting in. They're getting in because um, you, you're going into people around you's vibration. Yeah, it, it just see, it's because it's my partners and my daughters. I wish my daughter would stop bringing everybody's from work home. Just get some holy water when she comes in and spray it. I know, yeah. <laughs> I, could, I could do it like a shower head in front of the door, couldn't I? <laughs> um, something big, well, left a mark on Andrew's left shin and my left shin in the same place overnight. Was it on the Sunday? His went a little bit slightly looking like cellulitis. Mine just went, went red and... But we've got them in the same place on the left leg, on the same place on the shin. Julian, can you send a private message of your, of your, or your partner? So oh, Ian. What? Ian didn't, he, he won't listen to anything like this. No, he makes no, his head. no, what I'm saying is, if I'm clearing, you, if I'm clearing you no. and he's still infected okay. and he's still got stuff, we'll just go back to you. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Not her. Send a private Chilling mouth, try and cleanse him tonight. Yeah. Try and, try and get permission. Thank you. I do. I know when I'm clearing, he clears because I feel his body twitch as things move. Be connected. Yeah. You, you, your, I, your implants and his implants are probably connected. So. I do the clearing, but he twitches <laughs> in his sleep. <laughs> Is that Deb story? Do you feel a difference now? I went from head to toe. I went, I went six feet out. Yeah, I felt um, today a lot lighter. Um, that's because my daughter's gone on holiday. Um, could you please just check my left elbow on the actual bone? Your left which? Which? Elbow. Elbow? Oh, on the, the elbow? elbow? Yes. Mm. There's some, it's like a little tiny string of something. Jeez. I have to use a tweezer. Better? Yeah. And there's something um, on the heel of my left foot underneath. Um, it, it feels like a big, it feels uh, numb. Numb? No, yeah, it feels like a, and it covers the whole of the heel to the inside. 
like a patch. It almost feels like like a stick in plus stew. There's a memory stick in there. What the heck is that? A memory stick? Like a memory stick? No, I think that is from when I'm doing, obviously, I ground energies and I do grid work. I think they've been um, taking some of it off on that left. They've been, I don't know who it is, but they've been uploading it on that left heel. Hmm. I don't know where where the who, who it is or where they've taken it, but that's been there for a, for a while. But with me being sensitive, they don't get away with it because I can feel it. Oh. Hmm? I'm, I'm just starting it. Okay. And I think there's something on the crown and it's more like maybe a thread going down my spine from me. Do you, do you ever get taken? <laughs> I'm just thinking with all this, it's like you've had a medical operation. With all the crown, uh, you know? I do see, uh, in, uh, I do think there's been um, activity, but uh, I don't always remember. <coughs> I just hear the frequency come in. I hear a, frequent, I a different tone come in. I'm getting that you are because I'm seeing the image of it in your in your yeah. energy field. Yeah, like it's playing back for you. Yeah, quite interesting. I mean, I could do with them buggering up. It's like watching a film. Yeah, I could do with them um, because I'm not. I'm supposed to just go and go to my other aspect and and get tuition and downloads, but yeah. being diverted. And funny you should say that because it'll be seven years in September since I had my proper lesson and went there, phys- like, and saw it was actually part of that aspect. And I haven't had it since. That was very really weird. It's like you've been experimented on with Grace. <laughs> but they knew I was there. So how does pass- your timeline pass? How do they know how? Did I go back in time? Well, that's why I've got some silt in the back of my neck because um, I felt myself during a meditation uh, go back into two, I think it was two, maybe three vortex timelines really fast, really fast, because it gives me like a whiplash feeling in my neck. And then I get like a crystallised residue uh, at the back of my neck. It, it crunches. It's, it's very fine. I, I, and it I, used to get- they were using to... they were using needles at about an inch wide. I don't know what they were doing with them. Never seen out like I, I used to get help from the dragon collective and the unicorns, but I haven't had it for a while. They used to um the unicorn white used to act like it was scraping it out and the dragons used to burn it. It's weird, isn't it? I think I'm fragmented in down there many different timelines. That I, I just can't seem to bring a, a whole as a connection in for protection, if that makes sense. I, th- I think, oh, the, uh, the stick in your foot, dead long it was, it? that's gone. I don't know what that was. Yeah, it was like, like, it was like a memory stick. I think they were um, downloading instead of it going into the crystalline grid mm. on that left foot. I think it was going in, in that memory stick. Or maybe later on, not it's not for you to um, disconnect whoever's messing with that. They they're need probably, dealing with. They're, they're probably charging it up with the energy. <laughs> yeah, they, well, the codes aren't they? They're not their codes. Do you want two start cards? Sorry, I don't know why I said start. Yeah. They say stop. Stop. There you go. Healing. Yeah. And balance. Yeah. So. Stop focus on the e- problems that healing is so healing is accepted by yourself. Do, I think it's saying stop dwelling on them. Uh, what would be all? And ignore them. Yeah. <laughs> and balance. I totally ignore them. I'm like, I'm like, you think you're getting but Don't even give them that. Don't I, even give them that. The ones that used to help, yeah, I'd try and connect with them. Especially yeah, tonight. Me. Especially yeah. tonight. Yeah, it is important tonight. You're right. Thank you for that. Uh, and yeah, and, and tell tell them what's happening because they might you might be you might have so much stuff on you they can't find you anymore. Yeah, you might be. I think we feel like an angel's gone on holiday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like record keepers. Come on, run out to drink. Mm. I think that's everything. Thank you so much.
You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Lily. Now you are in Victoria for her sister and Bobby. <clears throat> it's only yeah. been a week, Victoria. <laughs> baby, baby, come here, come here. I have to use treat. Hang on. Bobby, come here. Yeah, my sister has been complaining about issues, and you know, she lollipop three times, I think, two or three times. And um, Bobby, I just want to scan for him, and I'm pretty sure I got something on me because it seems like something happened yesterday. But, you know, seeing if you have time to give me a scan maybe later or something, you know. But could you do my sister? Um, she's been struggling with um, certain issues, and she's not able to, to, um, to get better at it. So this is her. Okay. Oh, sorry, Bobby, my bad. Did I not give you? What, what issues has she got? Her, um, she's, she said that she has this blood pressure that just won't go down. What's her name? Carol. Sorry, baby. Hold up. If you want, you can remove, you know, her, um, you know. Uh, we know. Yeah. <laughs> is she at the, does she, does she, she know that you're, does she know that you're doing this today? Yes. Okay. I got her permission. How long has she had the blood pressure problem? Um, I think a few weeks now. Just put the uh, image. Did she have pain in the shoulder? She, she, I don't know. She doesn't tell me. I'm pretty sure that she has a whole bunch of things going on with her. She has diamond children. So, you know, her family is, you know, popular. Is she awake? She is. Uh, a little bit awake. Semi. I tell her things, but she's not accepting. But the thing is. You know, she's aware of my spiritual path, and but she's not um, not for it at the moment. Maybe later on for her. But she's a, a, a kind-hearted, a very kind-hearted woman. Hey, baby, hang on. I got to keep you here. Baby, come back. No, oh, baby. You got to wait. Wait till it's your... I have this favorite treat here, so he's like, so he doesn't move away. Bobby, stay. Oh, gosh. No, baby. I'll give you another one. One more? No, I've done both. Have you done Maybe. both, Deb? What? Have you? I've sorted both out. Have you done your bit? Yeah, she had a lot of black stuff coming out of her. And she had a lot. Of <laughs> I had to do it twice. <laughs> We've done that before. Oh boy! So they're attacking her pretty much. Well, no, it, it's from the um. Uh, exactly. You don't, lolly, the lollipop. You, don't, you don't have to say anything, you know. Okay. Yeah. Black stuff coming out of her. Baby, baby, Bobby. Bobby's turn? Oh, Bobby, come here. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Hey, baby. Wait, wait, wait. Baby, look. Shh, shh, shh. Bobby. 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 Oh, my gosh. Over here, see? Bobby, look. Oh, my gosh. Over here, <laughs> over here. Sorry. It's hard to get him when all he wants is a street. Let's stand it. Just to remind him of everyone next week, about healing animals. <laughs> baby. He's, he'd probably be on again. <laughs> Well, this guy gets attacked all the time, so how would you say? Hope, hopefully, you don't. Know I saw that. him. I saw him. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, I've already I've done that as well. She been gagging this week. Yeah, he yeah. gags a lot. He's got a choke on on him again. Poor thing. That's why he doesn't want to even go out. Sometimes he looks at direction. He knows what's there and detours and just. And I also have been having these neck issues and things going up and down i'm not even sure if i just lounge and i've got a choke on you too that explains it <laughs> they're making you feel it yep they're gonna choke on you and him that explains why the neck is pulling and everything well they just figured they could control him they can control you now so they're yanking it so, so victoria you'll have to because you are not feeling you'll have to go back in the queue and we'll get rid of it <laughs> <laughs> he's joking well, I've been doing a lot of healing on, on deck, so. Well, can I ask you something? When are you going to heal yourself? Well, you know where he's located, and it's. But, my... but we're supposed to heal ourselves first so that we can take care of others. And you keep forgetting that. And I keep getting this from Father. Yeah. That says you're not doing this correctly. You take care of you so you can take care of others and do your job. You're not doing it. And again, mm -hmm. he's saying to me, where's, where's the messages we keep telling you this? Mm -hmm. We're not getting through to you. You are depleting yourself to help somebody else. You're not supposed to do that, right? 
but you're continuing to do that. You're being attacked because they can attack you. You're not working from up here. You're working from down here. You keep mm-hmm. lowering yourself to do this. You're supposed to stay up here to do your work. How is he going to be safe without my light then? You, He's in such you, a dangerous you, position. You channel over light. You don't have to hmm? use, you're using your prana chi energies too much and making you weak. You channel the energy. You don't have to use your own. Just bring in the energy that you need. Or bring in more energy to yourself. Replenish what you lose. But, but you're just a bit lazy. Aren't we all? Okay, I got it. I didn't think about replenishing it by bringing it in back to me. I just keep clearing grids, healing others, and keep shielding others like so many people I'm shielding. So I'm using a lot of my energy. Yeah. All right. Thank you for oh, the help. Right. I love you. Uh, Let's go. Okay. Now the next one is David Jeremiah. David. Needs you change your name, David? My first name and middle name. Uh, Jeremiah you? was a bullfrog. He just calls me when I talk to him. How you guys doing? Good. Oh, I'm, uh, things have been pretty good. i uh working on changing jobs to school bus. And, and recently, uh, I had a couple of styes in the eye. And um, I took some herbs for it. And it my eyes got blurry, but then they got better again after I took the herbs and the styes went away. But now, like, they've been blurry again. And when I close each eye and look out of one eye and I look at like one symbol or one letter, I can see like two or three of them. Like I can see the the original one and then like a shadow of the, of the number or image. So everything has been blurry. It's, it's a little better today, but it keeps fluctuating. So I'm trying to figure out about that. And if there's any implants or going on, I'm feeling okay. sore in the back. And... Okay. How's Ziggy? How's the birds? Birds are great. Everybody's getting used to a new, two new additions to the house. We have another cat and a dog now but that are visiting for the next year. Oh, my wow. granddaughter, my granddaughter had to move out of their apartment and then the new place they're staying in has no, no pets. So they are visiting from Florida. So now we have a, a zoo. I just saw two kittens in a shed when I delivered to this hotel. And I'm thinking I should just make sure they're okay. I don't, I saw a guy feeding them but they're still in this shed and they're really small yeah well we have we lost a cat and we have it now we have another cat so we have four cats two birds and a dog (laughs) okay um let's see do you wear glasses david um a long time ago i needed them for a second um for a second yeah just for like that period that year like um and I, you know, did healing or whatever, and they just were better. So I never felt like I needed glasses. Maybe I have needed them for a while. It's n- there's like nothing that. wrong with your eyes other than this human body age. <laughs> you probably need glasses. So that's a normal blurriness. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just new to me. So I yeah. Don't know. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll just see if I can help it. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. But, but like, like t- 10 years ago, I was supposed to wear glasses and... Uh, I ended up saying, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm okay now. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it can be healed. And I'm, I'm working on getting a uh, driving school bus. So I've got to take uh, take some physicals and tests coming up real soon. So I wanted to. Is it is it um, for reading that you the eyes are blurry or for d- distance? Re- reading, yeah. <laughs> when I try to read my emails now, I can't even. Yeah, have- <laughs> David, <laughs> David, these are magnifiers I have at the dollar store. It's just <laughs> seeing close up. I can see far away. Fine. It's just, yeah, I like it's it. It's called yeah. old age. <laughs> yeah, Deb, when, when I was driving, I used to, when my wife was alive, I used to ask her, what does that sign say? But since she died, I've had to, leave, I've had to fix my eyes because I can't see the signs. But I can now. <laughs> <laughs> so the eye is fixable. It's the eye, that, that's, yeah, it's the older you get. Yeah. It's like this. You have to. I, I couldn't see it. I just couldn't see it. So I get, I could get it's normal, myself. David. It's yeah. normal. But we are not normal. No, we're not. But um, extraordinary. Yeah. Well, anything that that'll help. Even even with his healing, you may need to get little magnifiers at the dollar store. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the eye the eye thing and get the glasses so that I have everything in place to you know get the job and kids and that'll be amazing because I used to do it a while ago and kind of miss it. Had a had an autistic child and in. in when I picked her up on the route, she came out and she hugged the, she hugged the little Santa and, and kissed it. Mm. 
I don't see any implants. Your energy is pretty good, actually, David. You've improved a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been quite a journey. I think all that light language um, prayers has helped, too. I've, I've done a lot of those for myself. Mm -hmm. and I, uh, when I had session, they said just, you know, a lot of the answers always came to prayer and, and to use the light language to pray also and do it like all day long. Light language is the language of your soul. And what you can do with light language, you can do a light language verse to heal your eyes. Mm -hmm. but don't, don't do it now. Do it in your own time. You actually do light language. As the words have got power, you do healing. That's why sometimes you see me on mute because I'm doing light language. <laughs> I, don't like, um, I don't like listening. I like it sometimes. It's in, I'm feeling a strong buzz sensation in my third eye. Really strong. I'm being told you're getting a download, so that's why. What do the downloads do? What are they? We don't know because they're not our downloads. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's for you. The download is for you. So it's an expansion of some sort. Okay. Yeah. That's what I meant. Like it's something you needed. Uh, I was your eyes now. Can you see you? <laughs> Don't be <me> better. <laughs> try to, what you do if you, if you want to self heal using light language, try and flush them and try and reprogram the back of them in the back. The eyes have gone lazy. That's all you got. <laughs> Get them working. That's why I don't wear glasses as well. I, I always think my eyes have got worse. That's why I don't wear. Well, it's just weird that it's been fluctuating. Like one day I'll see really good, and then a couple of days later it's like black back to blurry. And I'm like, well, what's going on? Here? As well, it's as well you need oil in stock. <laughs> Oiling. <laughs> oil can. Oil can. <laughs> oil can. <laughs> yeah, don't you may have just. Maybe you did a lot uh, an eye strain that day. Maybe you just, you know, were reading oh. too much, or maybe you were on the computer too long. Or I uh, know when I work, um, like the new uh, lights on the cars are so bright, so I have to work at night sometimes. And, and uh, that could be it. There's cars. these uh, glasses you can get at like a truck stop yeah. for night driving, and they're okay. really good. Yeah. They're like yellow glasses. They they're yellow, and it okay. helps with eye strain at night if you're driving at night. Oh, yeah, I'm going to check that out then. Woohoo! Thank you, guys. Yeah. Oh, my God. They're not real expensive either, but they're really, really good. It kind of brightens it, so it's like all all the lights that are the same. They're not, like, alternating these lights that are flicking at you. Yeah. I think I had a pair when I drove to Las Vegas, I remember. Yeah, it just helps helps a lot. From New Mexico to Las Vegas to event. Yeah. Okay. You got a card or two? Oh, okay. Yeah, just say stop. Stop. See you down. Oh. This is what we all need, nature and freedom. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it really is. So the nature part is connect with nature more every day and the freedom. If you ever feel trapped like you're in a prison, you've got the keys to release it, especially, you know, you've got to download. All right. Good cars, huh? Good car. yeah. Love and light. Hey, we're on the three-hour mark. Let's go. Great. Right, the next one. All I'm eating is candy. The next one, Maggie. A sugar high. Healing for her tooth. Maggie. Maggie. So nice to see you guys. I love you all. I have, I have missed you guys so much. Um, it's difficult for me to, to speak today because this side here on my, on the lower part of my chin, um, I have my, my four wisdom teeth. It's still, but the, uh, it was missing one, the second one, and I I, I put a fixed uh, dental bridge. And now it was hard to find out today, but I found out that um, on the, um, I don't know, how can I explain? Underneath this teeth, because I have two more on this side, is this yellow things you get in the mouth, like when you have stress, you call after? Abscess? No, no, this, this, this thing that you get on, on the skin inside the mouth that is painful and, and cause you to bite yourself. Elsa. Do you know what I mean? Elsa. I don't know. After you call? After? It can only be an abscess. I just said an Elsa. abscess. An abscess too? Abscess no. or a no, no, it's, it's not abscess. Yes, okay. exactly. Yes, yes. This is the name, I, th I guess. Which one? And, Elsa. Yeah. Because I was I was feeling and I was afraid that could be my my other teeth the one who is fixing the the, the bridge 
but um, and I, I tried to clean underneath and it was quite painful. And now anytime I try to eat something, I bite myself. And here is swollen and is very sensitive and goes up to my ear. And this, oh, it was so, so bad. <laughs> you, you could put salt on it. <laughs> no, no, don't put I'm, salt on I'm, I'm drinking tea from uh, rosemary, uh, ginger, and uh, cloves. Uh, cloves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and this is, it feels good when I keep this in my mouth on this side for a while. But even in the night, if I turn to sleep on this side, I wake up because it's painful. And I hope it's not my, I, I am sure it's not my, my other teeth because then I have to go to the doctor and then it's no chance. I still, but I am tapfer. Do you have any oil of oregano? No. Okay, Maggie, a moment. In your heart, the Father is going to put white energies, white diamond light, and it's going to turn molten gold and start going through your bloodstream every time your heart beats. This is going to go through your whole body. And it's going to go through your bloodstream and start healing everything in your body. And you're going to feel it going through into your jaw so that it starts healing you because it's like an infection. So it's going to feel like warm water going through your whole body. It's going to be hot. I'm feeling already. (laughs) Okay. It's white and it's warm. It's going going through your stomach, your chest, into your neck, down your arms and down your legs and the back. And this is gonna, every time your heart beats, it's it's going to continue pushing this energy through your body and healing you. It's going to go through every organ. It's going to go through every bone, healing your bones, your tendons, your, your ears, your everything. So it is. This is going to be constant. It's going to stay like this for seven days and continue this healing. Mm-hmm. This is good. Um, I am you feel that I, warmth. It's like warm yes. water. You feel it? Yes, very, very, very warm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, on my my spine is a little bit sore because and and my right shoulder because finally I got the chance to help a lady in the garden, and yesterday the the work was a little bit hard, and I was with my head down for a long time. I and today when I move, everything complains and also here in this side of my neck. But I'm very happy and grateful for my energy because I know that my energy are high because everyone that I knew personally just disappeared. No, I am now only with the the people I, I get, in, I am in touch with energetically. And thank God I am now, I think, where I wish to be spiritually. I am I'm so, so happy. Is it still no vision, nothing, but I am feeling so much. And, and doing every day, only work on my energy, on manifestation, and getting high, high, high as much as possible. I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. How's your, how's your side now? Yes, it's, it's a little bit, uh, the pain is, is very less now and was very hot before. I was giving also energy yesterday, but God sent me someone that let me know that today is the healing. I say, my God, the universe. <laughs> well, uh, and, uh, <laughs> a, little tr- a little trick for anyone who wants to do healing. Dino, Dino sorry, put on Ipacium. Ipo- as an open pathic remedy. As healers, we can channel energy. We can channel that energy into where it's needed. So we don't actually need the product. We only need the energy. So you can channel uh-huh. this energy and then send it to where you need it. Okay. Uh-huh. I use also to write um, uh, on, on a paper and put on the glass the name and fill the glass with water and and try to 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 also transfer the energy to the water and drink what what you can do as well you can use your imagination find out what what homopathic remedies are for the problem you've got 
visualize them <laughs> into your hand as a cream, rub it together. You've got to physically actually rub it and then actually mm -hmm. put it on the area, but you're channeling the, the I will. I will. So it, if it doesn't work, then it's Dino's problem because she's put the wrong, wrong stuff on there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, Phil, I send you a message. Doesn't matter what time. <laughs> no, this, uh, so this energy goes, it will stay with you for seven days and then absorb in. So the, the yeah. inside of you, you are and, the golden stays with you. Yeah. And I'm so happy that uh, uh, from next week, I can afford to, to get back my things and hopefully put my life. Uh, straight ahead again slowly beautiful and you you guys are right on my heart you got, you got to say, I don't forget you. you got to say stop yes he dropped them all anyway i did it i did it. i still got them nearly, <laughs> nearly 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 i love you guys so much stop phil hey you got to. yeah I'm, I'm, i'll have a full set in a few years i'll be giving divine guidance and playfulness that's very good cards as well. Good cards tonight. Your prayers are being yes, answered. Your prayers are being answered by a universal law. Playfulness. And playfulness is uh, have some fun in your life. You have responsibility, so do. Yeah. yeah Thank so. you so much from the bottom okay. of my heart. Love and blessing everyone, and I love you all. Okay. Love you too. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, do you want me to channel everyone some CB oil? <laughs> yes, yes, please. <laughs> yeah. Get Thank you guys so much. Well. God bless you all. God bless um, you all. You too, sweetheart. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Lily. Okay, the next one is Vera Quintana. Vera. Vera. Hi, guys. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. What do you got? The sniffles? <sighs> No, no, she, she oh. did the test. It's the worst thing you can do, do a test. You don't do a I test, did. you don't have it. <laughs> right? Well, my family made me do it because we have elders. And um, they're like, you need a test, you need a test. So, yeah, so I'm COVID positive. I did two tests. I've been, I've been just trying to go through it. But I have this bad pain right here on this, like, main artery on my neck. It hurts really bad. And then I've been spitting up a lot of blood. <sighs> and I feel like I have a bladder infection, but I don't know if it's a bladder infection. Yeah, just one thing with doing a, a positive, I can't say much here, but doing a positive, it can be any of them. It's 30, 40 different ones. Different the ones, yeah. The common cold is one. Right. Two, right. 229E is a positive and it's a common cold. You, you, right. When you have a test, you just don't know what you've got. Oh, you look at it. I know. No, look at her neck. Her neck is bulging there. Yeah, this hurts really bad. Like I could barely touch the, like the artery. I could barely touch it. It hurts so bad, and I've been spitting a lot of blood up. I don't know what that has to do. I'm gonna give you up the neck and the bl blood. The blood's four, not four blood, blood's normally a sign of a flu, isn't it? You always get blood uh, four with days, blood. four days with uh, the neck. Right. And then burning in my abdomen, like my lower abdomen, like that's why I keep thinking bladder, uh, bladder infection. But I don't think it's a bladder infection. Well, are you peeing blood? <laughs> no, not not that I know of. Not that I noticed. Does it hurt when you pee? No, it just hurts when I'm sitting here like this. It's normal sitting. I feel burning. Okay, but, but when I but when I pee, I don't burn, and I no. pee normal. That's why I'm 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 thinking it's not a no, bladder. No, it's not. <laughs> But I feel like it's on fire. Hot you, do and not, cold. you do not have cold. What do I have? Uh, and I have these hot and cold sweats. On the other hand, I've been kneeling you, so I'm hot covered of it while you checked it. Oh. <laughs> You're a scan yourself. I've been. I haven't been able to figure it out. What's around your neck? It's a snake. You have a snake around your neck. Oh, my God. You want to name it? And I couldn't see it. Is yeah, do it you want, Phil says you want to name it? <laughs> no, we wanted to find a new home. Um, is it because of the jerk? I have no idea. Because I can't see sometimes what he does to me. Remember? I know. DNA. I know. That's, well, you can, but you have to, you have, you have to bring yourself to a point where it's neutral. You can't get this 
You have to bring yourself to neutral. Yeah, I mean, I just, we'll lift your vibration. He's got somebody else involved again. So I'm done with him. No, he's some you know, frustrated trying to do it himself. All right, my ancestors are the, our ancestors are are with us, and they are not happy because he went to a Native American, and uh, this is a no no for them to use black magic. Apparently, this person said, I'll do it one time for you, but you never should have done it at all. I can see it. I can see the conversation. The ancestors are telling me that the medicine man that they went to said he'll do it one time. And they, he paid him money, but he broke the law, their, their spiritual law. <coughs> he knows he did wrong. They're going to talk to him. They're actually talking to him now. <sighs> All right, the swelling's starting to go down right now. A little bit. Can you feel a that? A lot. Yeah. The tenderness going away? Yeah, I could touch it. I could at least put my finger on the skin now. I couldn't even do this, but the ball's still there. Deb? Yeah. I, I visited the medicine man as well. <laughs> so <laughs> he was getting he was getting backlash off your off the answer. He was getting backlash off our team. So he, yeah. he won't be doing that again. He won't. Yeah. He's actually trying to reverse it. Uh, so. well, what this has done on your neck, it's made you into a low vibration. And by going in a low vibration, you've caught with COVID type flu. I was doing really good. Yeah. I was doing so good. I was losing weight. I was exercising. I was very, like, I felt great. And then, yeah. <coughs> well, this is just, this is again. To playing the games and you know, you've got to remember how powerful you are you got to bring yourself out of this and up none of this stuff is going to affect you if you keep your well, I've, been, I've been dealing with i've been dealing with i guess it, it, the the actual coming on to me coming to me um for about a week now and i'd be i would get into meditation and i would try to clear things ground myself you know do my thing and i just felt like I wasn't getting anywhere. And I started getting sicker and sicker and sicker. <sighs> the breathing is still really hard for me, though. Yeah, the, that's a human problem, isn't it? Getting rid of, huh? cold, getting rid of a cold or cough. Wait, what's on that? That came on because your vibration went low. Your energy went low. Yeah. Well, that, that's, that should be better, though. Tomorrow. You sure that dog's snoring? What? Your dog's still snoring. Yeah, he is. Yes, she is. She she is. she is. She's a pug. She's got pushed in face. She can't help it. Relax, relax. Blow the illness out and scream. Let me catch in a cold. Is that feeling better? Much better. <clears throat> yeah. I did that with me three row son once. Got rid of it. I was ill for eight hours. I couldn't get up. I was nice. Up. I, I wasn't supposed to do a three row because. Babies are very powerful. So when you take it off them, like I put your affects you more. Awesome. Right. Yeah, my hips. Did you see anything on my hips? Or is it just from being laying down so I, much? I think I think you just run down. Okay. All right. I'm good. Thank you guys so much. Say stop. Stop. Yeah. I can just write cards. Body care and playfulness. Playfulness <laughs> is the card of the day, isn't it? So playfulness fit fun into your journey so i know you're ill at the moment but if you can try and fit fun when you're getting better yeah one again body care yeah take care of your physical body yes yeah, i will yeah. thank you guys Thanks. i'm feeling so much better already I'm feeling great you look yeah. better oh my gosh you're amazing you're all amazing thank you so much for your greatest time your blessings it, thank it, you. it, it was very strange meeting the, the, the new medicine the new native indian spell card. And <laughs> and the your team was there, the, the team you know were there, and my team were there. So he was getting he was getting it at both angles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just don't do no wrong, people. Don't do no wrong. <laughs> easy. Love. That's easy. I don't know. What people think. Yeah. 
Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome, honey. Okay, Lily, hey, the next one, Susan Munhiran. Oh, hello. Hi. My video. Hi, Susan. Hi hello. there. So glad to see you guys. It's good to see you. Yes. How are you? <sighs> Doing good. Yeah, I'm feeling great. It's the uh, I, I feel like a light, like a lightness and more positive energy since the like the Lions Gate and the super moon recently. I feel like just a lot of stuff cleared out for me, which was good. So um, but I've been having kind of these electrical zapping sensations in my arms lately. That's been kind of unique. And then um I had a past life regression a few weeks ago where I saw myself in a lifetime as like a dragon rider protector priestess and i actually saw um my dragon that i was bonded with in that lifetime um she was a sacred heart dragon and she's kind of a kind of a rosy pink color with like kind of like a light green eyes and i saw her flying next to me i think i was flying on one of her younglings but i was protecting her from others that were trying to harm the dragons it was kind of like medieval times um and um yeah so i i was wondering if there's any either more information about that lifetime um and maybe working with um that dragon clan and she she also mentioned like the ruby ray dragons um as well so if it has to do with like heart opening or helping others to open their hearts or things like that i, w I won't be surprised if you were part of that job. well that could have been yeah <laughs> So, and I, I recently like and her name is Satira the dragon and I recently channeled her on Wednesday this past week she came through and I don't think you were riding the dragon I think you were one of the dragons I was flying with the, the dragon. It's okay. you were you were you were one of the babies baby oh. dragons oh awesome remember yeah. when you're looking you're looking for your eyes you don't really look at your physical body people don't realize that when you're looking for your eyes you can be any being yeah unless you got a mirror <laughs> you don't really take mirrors because initially so. i did feel like i was flying as part of the clan like mm -hmm. etherically and then as we kind of descended into that lifetime then i looked over and like saw what she looked like yeah and it it, it does work out that these drum to you in other lifetimes they're like yeah so then you go to that yeah, you were one of the dragons. I think you were one of the children. Yeah, I felt like there was two two children. So, yeah, so maybe I was the one <laughs> flying next to her. Yeah. Did, what was the Thank dream you. about? Did it have any information in the dream? Or um, well, in the, well, I did see myself in that lifetime as, like, I had long, uh, I, I saw myself as a female, long, dark hair, wearing kind of medieval dress, um relatively beautiful i guess but i i felt it felt like initially at the beginning like we were trying to hide but then i felt like i was this woman speaking to like the whole village about protecting the dragons like speaking up for them and then um and then towards the end of the lifetime i think i i saw the end of my life where i was I think married to somebody that had a lot of land and we were able to protect the dragons there. And, and so I kind of felt like I fulfilled my mission. Like it was a good, <laughs> a good ending of my life, I guess. And um, my friend, Wendy Napolitano, I saw her as my younger sister in that lifetime, standing with my father who was in the audience while I was speaking up for the dragons to the village or whatever. So, so I did see myself as, as a, woman but um yeah so i don't know if, uh, <laughs> if that if that is the case or not and then i i was married to someone who was kind of an ideal partner that felt like really balanced good partnership and i kind of feel like maybe that's someone i'm supposed to connect with in this life was kind of the feeling but i'm getting i'm getting that you uh but which of the beings are the most magical? Who's got the magic spark? And dragons? You a shapeshifter? You a well, that's, that was the thought. Like, did I? Yeah, and I, I was getting the same thing. I was getting the same thing. Okay, because <laughs> that did cross my mind when you were saying that. I'm like, I wonder if I, yeah, I was able to shapeshift. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know I have a so connection. You, you yeah. were you were probably very powerful to shapeshift because not all dragons are. 
a good ability to do that, but you were shapeshift as a human to negotiate safety of the dragons, which for you, yeah, you were you were you were trying to give your good point to the dragon uh, to the humans about dragons. You were a dragon anyway. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay, because I got yeah, I felt like I was yeah bonded to Satira, which would make sense if she was my mother. That I felt very close, mm-hmm. close loving relationship with her. Yeah, so that's awesome. You, you like cool. you, want some, you look a lot better. You were a lot, lot better than last year. Last year. Yeah, were... my my skin is. I still have just a slight bit of irritation mm-hmm. on my arms, but for the most part, my skin's all cleared up, and I'm doing good, feeling good. So pretty happy with yeah. how things are going in life and i i've been told i'm going to channel a new collective starting in september that's going to be a combination of like fire elemental and galactic energies and it's something that i've never cha- it's supposed to be different than what i've channeled before and it's supposed to be a new collective to humanity to me and i'm supposed to like have a following in channeling this new collective so i'm kind of excited about that but but um and it's supposed to relate to like new earth energies it's supposed to be like kind of like sparks of light like fireworks kind of coming up you know into my energy field like um fireworks coming out of my crown chakra and like in my Work field or something like that <laughs> that's supposed to help with like my artwork and you know healing and other stuff too that connecting with this energy and it's yeah related to the new new earth energies too so so it's pretty exciting good and you need a healing too yeah. yeah if you if you see anything that needs to be healed like these electrical impulses i've been kind of feeling like in up and down my arms and, and in my hands and stuff that's so something you, new you have a pinched nerve okay I tend to sleep on that side too, which would kind of make sense if I'm pinching it myself. It's, it's in your, it's in your back. Okay. It's gnarly. You may feel um, work being done in your spine. He's doing some rewiring so that the pinch nerve doesn't continue with the. I'm gonna have to go around it because pinch nerve takes about a year to, or over a year to heal. So I would do rewiring. Yeah, you got some bulging discs, and that's where the pinched nerve is. Yeah, I've I've had long time ago. I have I've had some cortisone shots injected due to a bulging disc on the. It would be on my left side. Yeah, that's where I'm seeing it. Okay, I'm just gonna rewire you. We'll do some healing on the bulging disc, but right now, okay. You feel some warmth on your back. All right, I'm done. Do you have anything, Phil? Uh- Kneeling when, when I've been there. Oh, you haven't got a neck pain, have you? Um, or did you have one? Because I've got it. No, I didn't really have any neck pain. I feel some, I guess, soreness, tightness on more my right side, but that could be because I tend to sleep on that side and maybe that's kind of misaligning the back on the left, you know, kind of compensating. But, um, I mean, I feel my neck's okay, except I'm, you know, kind of cracking it a little bit and but it's not causing me like pain at this time. But uh, yeah, the, the dream you had about the dragon, yeah, your aspect wants to connect with you by semi merging. Got loads of information to access. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to Med- meditate. Well. Meditation, long meditation. Allow partial meditation. I, I don't allow full merges because I don't even trust my own aspect. So, <laughs> but there's so one. Are you, there's are one you saying myself as the the young one? like connect in with yeah, that so, aspect so of myself you, you bring it into your body and it's like two in one but it's two you're like it's you and yeah. the aspect and uh she loads of knowledge but yeah, i know the, i have i wonder if that's my soul drag i mean i've the, heard i have a soul drag the reason why it was a young one it was like connect was connection yeah you didn't want to see it in its adult state or you know, a bit worrying so it was like the first when aspects come to people come to you they always come as a slight, you know, not intense uh, to connect. So, and then sometimes you get one aspect and another one comes along. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I've noticed that. I've had ones show up, yeah, at different times in the last yeah. few years. So that's yeah. for sure. Awesome. And then, the one that I connect now mostly is Hermes in Atlanta. And yet, and Evra. I, 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 Evra, the source being... So I I connect with them when I'm doing healing to what the energy I need 
for whatever I need, I will connect with the aspect. Yeah, I've done that with my fractal Metatron. Like when I've, I was channeling a dragon and somebody asked for healing and then I came through where Metatron came in to assist and it's kind of like I saw both of like the healing down this person's back and it was pretty awesome mm. while they were doing that and yeah so that's pretty well, you, awesome. you would have been with them you would have been married yeah. with them so yeah that's you, and I was channeling them at it. the time yeah so wonderful <sighs> do you want to pull, pull a card for me did I pull a card I thought you had <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I must have seen it in your time. Now I should predict which card it is. I think, I think it's spiritual girl, but go on. Tell me when. And now. The other one's hidden. What does it say? Here I go. Spiritual Look, growth. I, yes. Here, let uh, me see it. It's emerging spiritual growth. Yes, that's uh, awesome. I, I must be getting sidekick. And I've been calling in my tube of light, and that, that picture did, did, did reminds you actually, of the tube, okay. my tube of light. Yeah. Did you hear me say it's going to be the spiritual growth? You all heard that, didn't no. you? That's what I said. I oh, said, you did? Okay. I said that before. I got, that's why I was saying yes. Awesome. On the, it'd be on the video. I'll make sure I enlarge the, the uh, speaker on that. And part. that totally fits <laughs> in with what I was talking about. Yeah, the emerging spiritual. Emer- your awesome being, you reveal your true gate grips and obviously spiritual growth sets as it all, doesn't it? Yeah. Stop, it's stop. all about... No fear. Yeah. That's it. No fear. Just yeah, no restrictions app. and yeah. allowing and... Yeah, allowing you to be yourself. So, yeah. yeah. Did, did, Dad, did you hear me say spiritual growth? Yes. Yes, I knew someone. I knew I said it. <laughs> so. I heard it, Bill. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. Much love to all of you. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you would have had a bad neck because my neck's killing me. So I've shifted some energy from your neck. Yeah, I feel like it's looser. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like it's cracking as much. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you. Okay. You're thank welcome. You. It's good to see you. Yes, good to see you too. Much love. Lily darling. Okay, now the next one is Dan Parkinson. Hi. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> nice hey, to Dan. see everybody. Hi, Dan. Okay, well I, I was, my my I would like to scan, please. I, I've been uh I've working been, hard. <laughs> I've been well <laughs> trying to do stuff, a lot, lot of stuff in the garden actually. But um, I, I seem to have attracted a lot of bugs. Are they are they ticked off at me, and uh, are they biting me just because uh, I'm in the, working in the garden? You mean insects? Or, insects. Or well, I got, talking... I got I got bite bites all over me. Well, not not that much. I don't know what's going on. So I just want to make talking sure. about spiritual ones or physical ones. Physical. I, I think it tastes good. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm just I'm, I'm real Canadian. Interesting. Nobody else around you is getting bit? Nope, not Trish. I mean, the other people either that are sitting outside? Uh, I, I, nobody said anything. Yeah. I find that very interesting, too. Yeah, that's why I was kind of wondering what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Father said you are a target. Because it never used to be that way. What, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to change your field a bit so it distracts. Okay. To, to me and then yeah i've never done this i've, I've, not, I've been told so. mm-hmm. right you got invisibility cloak for thank you Phil. You put some I, put some energy in your back and your knees again too just mm-hmm. tune up that's okay. me yeah that's me Say stop stop emerging again but power emerging. what do we got here emerging and power thank you very much yeah, well that, that power Blessing, blessings like, everyone yeah emerging well i just did emerging in it Emerging means is mm-hmm. you can you just got you can reveal your truth, yeah. Express yourself. That's what you're saying. And power is you've got the power to create divine wisdom. You can use it to see fu- the future and angels. Uh, you, you might have a gift. Yes, I've had. I'm actually part of another group um, where we do. Uh, I study with. Uh, they call themselves the uh, Sacred Eternals or Eternal Sacred. Some, 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 I'm sorry, I'm probably getting that wrong. But anyway, um, I've been seeing a lot of visions in, 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 in my meditations, Peru, Ireland, this sort of thing. It's been quite interesting. And it's a, uh, a meditation group that I belong with. And it's helped me very much uh, pursue that type of a, a thought. Yeah, I've been meaning to join you, but every time it, 
it, it, Tuesdays have been the days where Rick said his surgery and then okay. his doctor's appointments. And, Sundays, you know, Sunday's got surgeries. one. Sunday, Sunday's got one as well. Uh, journey is sacred elders talking to sac mm. the sacred elders. Well, we have 12 of them. <laughs> I don't know how many are in this group, but this is a worldwide movement. Okay, well, I'll let you go because I know you're tired. When you saw your visions, was it remote viewing or were you joining an aspect? I haven't had any, actually, I haven't seen any uh, presence. In, in, the first one that I had was super clear. It was, uh, uh, and it was a, a black onyx stone wall, but it was, it was like, literally like that in angle and you couldn't climb it. There was no fit, no handholds. Well, there was handholds. The, the ledges on the thing were only about that deep, and the surface of the stone was polished. It was absolutely incredible to look at. And that that is somewhere in Peru that I was I was told, but that was somewhere in Peru. Um, I'm contemplating uh, pursuing this further and literally going to Peru with Trish at uh, some point in the near future probably next year with hope with luck i just don't want the uh lollipop at all i don't think you'll have to do that next year hmm? i don't think I you'll hope. have to do that next year i would hope i think by then it'll be all done yeah i don't want that at all i just like to remain clean and like me yeah, yeah. me too <laughs> okay family thank you very much yeah they've moved, they've moved on now to the energies and the prices aren't they? Thank, thank you very much phil take care bud rick's in the bathroom Okay, we wait. Or the next one is Susan. There's Susan. But Rick is still in the bathroom. He'll be back. It's who? Susan Aaron. He's in mute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Susan. You're in mute. Mute. Hi. Susan Aaron. Here we go. Hi, sweetheart. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Hi. Hi, honey. How I got to ask you a question. Guess how much I love you. This much. <laughs> My grandkids. This More. <laughs> Thank you. I love you too, honey. I kept track during the month when you were away. I was like, what wow, seed? And you know, when you're driving, I was like, you, that is amazing. <clears throat> and all that Mexican food looked delicious. Which Mexican food? Oh, Where in the, Mexico. Oh, so, oh, in New Mexico. Yes. Yes. Yep. Well, I didn't cook it, they did. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looked delicious. It was. It was looked like, wow, that's what I'm missing. And yeah. Rick, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good now. I can actually see. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you can't hear me anymore. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Two, two yeah, I was going to say two blessings there. <laughs> that's great all right philip come on I, you know philip i've been very good i know i'm, I'm trying my best with no more one sentences you're okay. you're you've been doing great <laughs> so yeah. how, so we need to scan you today just what you're yes, right like so remember my leg at one time that i connected with you yes it's happening quite a bit like almost if i lean my leg against something like um, the end of a chair, but, but it's this huge long indentation and it gets, and it looks very red. Your oh bandwidth is really bad again today, Susan. What was that? Your bandwidth is really bad today. You're, you're cutting out and you've got really cutting low. Out? Yeah, you're, you're slurring, you're going slow motion. Your bandwidth oh, so is really my, low. My connection. Yeah. Yeah, un unless you're okay. speaking very slow. <laughs> <laughs> Could be that too. So I just, I moved my phone because I wanted to see you really close, all of you. But it's like an indentation on my leg. Remember I showed you? And I thought it was like a red line going up my leg. Yes. But it, it happens all the time when I lean my leg like up against a chair or I'm not even knowing that I'm doing it and it starts yeah. to hurt. It's um, like, circ that's not it's like your circulation. You you don't have enough yes. circulation. <clears throat> what? what? Feel the energies, I think. What? Yeah, well, animals can feel, see the energy. That's why that's why we start work. It's funny, uh, Mia has not been in this room all day. And it's got I came um, on with you. She's got something blocking the circulation again. Like she's got a ring, looks like a white 
There's something I've never seen this before. It's like she's got a zip tie around her ankle. My right ankle? Yeah. Yeah, because I feel it's been hurting me. The bone on my right side, on the left side of my ankle. It's like somebody put a zip tie around your ankle. For what? Well, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. You also have another opening in your house that something is coming in and out of. I don't know if this, this white thing is, though. I've never seen anything like it. Great. <laughs> Susan, you, no, attract, you, attract mean, all, you attract all these things. They just love you. <laughs> you don't mind me saying, have you been to a casino recently? Yeah, have you been to the casino? Recently. No. Two months. Not, know what? I haven't, it's been, she was, maybe, I was, I did go over a month ago, maybe almost two months ago. <laughs> but you didn't go. <laughs> I think, I'm trying to remember because I'm actually outside. I stay outside a lot yeah. because I brought my mom, but now I'm, I just. But your mother has been to the casino. Somebody in that house has been to the casino. No, 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 you, no Susan, and it's both Susan, of us. Susan I said take her. a month or two ago, like I said, yeah. You no, put, since, you, we, I take since we've seen you last. You brought something back. I you? think so, one time, yeah. then one time. I could have done yeah, that. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. You brought something. I couldn't something. remember. I'm sorry. That's all right. Remember. No, but you brought something back with you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we don't care if you go to the casino, honey. I know. I know. It's, I know. It's, it's you know, a I don't rush. even like, that's the thing. I don't even really like going anymore. And if I liked it, I felt like. But your mother likes to go and I get, we get it. it. We exactly. get, we get that. Yeah, I know. I get, we it's get that your mom likes to go. I know. Oh, now I'm remembering. Yeah. Did you feel different after that? Did your swelling start after that? No. I just, I had a wonderful experience there. I was basically there. I was like kind of cheering people on, which I love to do and getting them out all excited. Okay. For each okay other. But when this did your swelling, man, when did the swelling start? I, I think um, maybe like the past few weeks. Cause I just put it out of my head. Is that, is that thing around her ankle, a tracking device? Because she's got one of those things on her back too now, or it's actually on her just above her waist. You had me so distracted with your ankle. You've got a, a, what the heck is that thing? Drone, a drone on your back. One of those white who put that there? You know, we'll call it an implant, though. It makes it sound better. Implant, an implant. It's an implant. It looks like a drone. Am um, I in my lower back? Yes. Yep, yeah, it's been hurting off and on. I'm not going anywhere. You can't stop living. It's not living? I said you can't. Yeah. You can't oh. stop living. <laughs> I thought you said to the implant, we'll stop living. <laughs> That's right. I know. And I, you know what? You're so right about that. No. But every time I walk in the casino, I say, oh, shit. I look around and I want to look scanning the place. And half the time I stay outside and smoke a cigarette. There's no smoking in that casino? No, but I go outside. There's a picnic table. And I just sit in the sun, you know, my mother does her thing. I play a little bit. There's no smoke. I don't know any casinos that have, that don't have no smoking. They have smoking um, in all our right. casinos. Exactly. They used to have smoking, but since this whole, you know, mishmash of the, all the lollipop stuff, <laughs> uh, this, now they, if they have, it's only outside. And honestly, it's better because. I never would sit in a smoking section because it was terrible. So I would sit in non-smoking. And then I knew knowing that I am, I would just forget about it. But I just go outside and I love it. I sit outside and I said, this is great. It's it's a break. They, take, and they, they still know, have them. They still have smoking here. That I, I yeah. haven't been in one in years. Maybe not they, in this one, and not, Maybe they I don't. I don't think in, Mohegan doesn't. And I don't know. If, I don't go to Foxwoods. I just... Mohegan's mm. is quick and we're out of there and home. Too quick. Yeah, I, I don't know if they do or not, but mm. I shouldn't even say that. Maybe they stopped them. I, I've, no I've, got, I've got rid yeah. of the implant anyway. I've got, okay. I've, got, I've got a way of finding them now. I'm getting rid of Is there anything in my neck? Because my neck you, is you know, cracking. I was going, why didn't you just wait a minute? Are you yelling at what? There was, but I've just got rid of it because I got I had some pain in my neck. So I can't hear him. I can't hear him. He said he he said he was he was going to tell you that he got rid of it. 
in your neck. Oh, no, I transferred oh. it. Transferred it. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Don't even tell me what it is. Because then I'll think about it. Maybe that's the no, problem. I'll be I, thinking about it. Then. The energy transfers over. So that's why I, I knew. Yeah. So you, the energy it was creating the pain it went into me. Yeah. The energy was transferring over into your neck. So, yeah. So when he gets... When he gets rid of it, yeah, because you understand that your your back carries all of the nerves to your throughout your body. So anytime you have um, something in your back, it's going to vibrate the nerves into your body. So, yeah. And anyway, so what about some sometimes at night when I close my eyes, a flash? Not every night. I saw. Um, it's like a dark. It looks like dark, like I would say, a branches. Or you'll like, have to you'll have to repeat like that like just branches but now it could be nerves i would see a dark one at all but i thought what is my leg I looked at it and i thought what i, I wish i erased the picture but it looked like it was boxes and all of, i almost thought i saw lola my dog that passed away on the very top but i saw all these lines and this is um Maybe about, it's so hard to figure out if it was like definitely a month ago, definitely not before you left. I mean, I would have asked you, but I did see these lines all over my right leg. And I noticed my feet were getting cold all the time. My legs were getting cold. And then um, Christine Beebe did a really beautiful, um, like it took a picture. Of, I can't remember which now that. But it must have been affecting my brain, making me foggy and forgetful. But I felt this energy going through my whole body, my legs. And just it was that was with Christine. It was really amazing. Mm. So that's, oh. that's um, been my summer. Well, well you know, you, you, had a, you had a portal in your house. So, you know, that could definitely be the issue with the seeing things. Did, um, did you get rid of the could portal? in my bedroom? It was no. in your bedroom. <laughs> it was. Yes, wow. you have a portal in your bedroom. So let me ask Phil. Did, what, hold on. Phil, yeah. did we? Okay. Do we want to get rid of the portal? Portal? Or the portal. Where does it go to? That's it. I'm asking you. Well, Phil has to figure out where the portal goes to first before we get rid of it. Because okay. that's where. Now, it, where was it in my bedroom? In front of the door. Now, I felt air coming out behind the door. It felt like a breeze of air coming out from behind my door when I was using the uh, payload sticks going out of the room. It would be inside your door coming and in, inside your bedroom. Yes, going inside my bedroom, the door behind, it was behind the door. I felt something many times. Well, that's where your portal is. Okay. And I felt like a breeze. Well, that's amazing that you would feel it. That, that would probably mean that something came in the room. Yep, and I what I did is when I lit one of those sticks, the Palo Santo stick, and as soon as I put that, I could feel it blow when I put the stick right behind the door, and it and it went away. But I haven't done it because I thought you said no more sticks. I may be talking about Mia, my dog. You said I think you said that, so I stopped using them. What kind of stick was it? The you know Palo Santo, Palo Santo, A frankincense. Use frankincense. No, no frankincense. Use frankincense. Oh, I think I have frankincense oil. That's fine. It was, put, it, put it in a diffuser. Uh, oh, okay. Palo Santo. Or Palo Santo. Okay, frankincense is good. You know, I don't have a diffuser. So this portal, what kind of portal was it? Well, in, that's in, what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for Phil to tell us. It's, okay. I've, I've closed it. It's connected to an earth and uh, the ley lines, I'm not sure exactly. I might have been there for a long time, but I've disconnected it anyway. It's not operating. It's closed up now. I haven't, I haven't deleted it. I'll Thank you. It. it was not a good one. So, <laughs> right, because that's why I haven't been sleeping for weeks. I, I think, now you can. I think it's good or bad, but it's what's coming in. Obviously, someone's found on the other end of it. I don't think it was created for you. I think it was just a. Uh, is it galactic? No, in a in a. Do you want to say stop? Stop. I saw some weird being there. They were threatening. Don't tell me anything else. <laughs> it's close. Serenity and truth and the word that I don't say very well. 
I can't hear you good, Phil. Serenity, peace of mind is within you. Yeah. Your card is serenity. Peace of mind is within you. Thank you. Yeah. And the other one is truth and integrity. Truth yeah. and integrity is the other one. Okay. You keep on making the same You know mistakes. what, Deb? You're eating candy. Deb, you're eating candy because I was eating candy before you. I'm addicted to these. <laughs> I'm addicted to these Lifesaver gummies. Oh, you're, you know what? I'm addicted to taffy. These little taffies. I've, I've probably gone through five pounds the whole summer. <laughs> I haven't had taffy. And I don't even remember. This one is banana and one is like an orange cream. I'm going to send them to you. <laughs> <laughs> don't. I'm addicted to too much crap. I almost said shit. <laughs> these stupid. I, I don't I had these on my desk for two weeks and, I'm, and now I'm hungry. I mean, I, I can keep them here for a long time and just have one. You need two. nourishment. You've been but with them for five eaten. hours. I don't. It's been five hours. I should learn to eat before we start. I never do, though. I never eat breakfast. Well, okay. you know what? It's better than celery sticks. I love celery <laughs> sticks. I actually love I them. I do, too. I do, too. But it's hard to eat them when you're doing what you're doing. Yeah, it's a crunchy. Like, would probably get crunchy. on somebody's nerves as much as they're snoring, but she's been quiet. Thank you. Thank you. So everything is good. Yes. The thing is off my ankle, my back. And now my no more. Yes. Okay. And the I'm portal hoping closed. everything else, everything in the house is good. I, I, that's the only thing I found. I've been cleaning up a storm. Like, really. Getting rid of stuff. My mother has been collecting antiques and junk for 50 years. And you can't imagine. I'm finding more stuff in drawers. And every day we're getting rid of stuff. Today well, that's she good. packed three bags. I mean, I need. I could fill up a truck. I fill a junk. Mm -hmm. And I told her it's just we need more oxygen in this house. Yeah, yeah. But all these, right, sweetie. You know, these are all right. I know. I'm just so happy to see you both. I know, Rick, sweetie. I'm so happy. You look so good. I <laughs> see him. He looks just amazing. He does. He looks a lot better. You do. I, I have got look to just your everything. I, I have to take a bio bio break. Be right back. <laughs> Okay, the next great one, Chris you, Bear, the, the, the yeah. next one, Davina, you have to prepare. Love you. Love you. Love you, Susan. Davina, you here? Love you guys so yeah. much. And, uh, yeah, she's here. She's here? Okay, good. And the next one will be Jillian. There you are, Davina. Nice to see you. Hello. Hi. I've a long time. I haven't seen you. Yeah. Okay. Just waiting for death. Good night, right, Matt. Hi, Maxine. You want to move out of my way? Thank you. Okay. Who? Davina. Davina. Hi. Hi. What can we do for you, little unicorn? Mm -hmm. See this energy around you. I don't know if you can feel it. Well, no, you never feel anything. <laughs> I can see this energy just, uh, do you ever watch the world, the wonderful world of Disney? No, Disney, ah, evil. I can't. It's a TV, it was a TV <laughs> show when I was, when all of us were younger and it would start with, uh, it started with the castle and it had Tinkerbell come out with, and she, Tinkerbell would have this energy of, of, of uh, do you remember Tinkerbell and all this stuff with her wand or whatever she would make? That's what the energy I see going around you with Tinkerbell. That's what, I, the first thing I saw was this energy going around you. I don't think it's a bad energy. And it's not a bad energy. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. That's, I think it's good. It's a beautiful energy, but and it's it's just swirling and swirling and swirling around you, all in a circle. I've never seen that energy around you. It's it, it's just around you and around you and around you. It's got diamonds in it. It's all swirling, swirling, swirling. It's beautiful. It's almost like the rings of Jupiter, but it's just constantly going around you. But it's, it's, it's um, it, and it changes colors as w whatever you need. So this is right now, it's like a pinkish color. It's love. It's a love energy. And I've got David telling me, yes, it's been with her for, David is her angel, by, by, by the way, people. <laughs> He's telling me that today it's love because you've got this love. I don't know what happened, but you, you're feeling this love energy. I'm not sure what happened, but he said you're full of love today. 
And there's a lot of white diamond energy in it as well, creator energy. I don't think you need healing. No, you don't. You do by yourself. Do you feel like you need healing? Yes. I'm having lower back pain for three weeks, almost one month, and it comes and goes. And especially when I wake up in the morning, sometime around, you know, early morning, I really feel the pain. So, yeah, it just come and go. Do you ground yourself when you get out of bed? Before you get out of bed, can you try mm -hmm. and do? Try and do that because I think it's um, and that because I was doing the same thing and that that's when Phil said try and ground yourself before you get out of bed, okay. either either using the um the halo of Atlantis or a tree that you that's nearby or you know, however you ground yourself because what's happening is when you're coming back into your body from the astral, mm -hmm. something whatever you're doing in the astral is causing that. Yeah, that's the question I wanted to ask. What have I you know where did I go? during my dream or something, what, what happened? It's kind of lower back pain is like, yeah, it just come and go. I try to do as much as uh, exercise stretching, but it's still. Yeah, you need to ground yourself. Um, what, what, I, I, what I believe it is, well, I've just been told, where you're go, going, different pressure. So it's your body, brain trying to work out. It's pressure. You, you know, like if you're in, this, in the plane, and went down to earth dead dead quick you'd have the bends it's similar to that but it's a memory of your astro so you've got to ground this energy that you picked up because you haven't been here you've been somewhere that's got different pressure eyes so it's a yeah. pressure when you're coming back coming back into a dense body it's yeah. going from like the light body into the 3d body but, but it's also where you're going it's a different yeah. energy so your brain is getting mixed up yeah, yeah. If you, are, if, you, at if, all. if you were underneath the water and you were arose dead, dead fast, you get the bends similar to that, but it's a memory. Got it. It's not real. Got it. the, the pressure, the air pressure and the dimension, the dense, density are different. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because as you know, I go, I go to the beach as much as I can almost every day or, or you know, several times a day, a, a week. So I've been grounding, but not like when I wake up because, you know, I already doing that you know, physically to the beat. So I don't I don't get to do, you know, um, in the morning. And yeah. I yeah, I just wake up, but I don't remember. I don't remember where did I go? What did I do? I don't either. Yeah, <laughs> and just one day after I stretch and that night started having um, back pain for three weeks almost one month right now. So when yeah. it comes and go, I feel like, okay, maybe I stretch, I will be okay. Yeah, but today I just feel like, you know, this is the chance and opportunity. Maybe I should check yeah. it. Yeah, you, so that's... Do you, do, you, do you know what you're doing next? What do you do in spiritual? Actually, no. She, she doesn't know, but um, I think she'd like to know. You save uh, children's souls. Well, there you go. And it don't have to be just children. It can be uh, other children beings if you know what I mean I don't have to be with children I, that's what I was seeing when I was at, in, my, in my remote viewing that's what I was seeing you mean like inner to inner child inner children no no you were you're saving lost souls or children okay you mean during my dream not, not dream. your dream in not the dream. astral in the astral you're yeah. saving the lost souls of, of uh, children yeah and it, it doesn't have to be this planet is it? what did you say it's just it's, not it's, a, not, it's have... not just in this planet oh okay yeah. um there's one thing i wanted to uh, run with you guys when i go to the beach and i just uh, invite um Kwan Yin and um archangel michael and then i just feel like i'm just uh, open a portal of light so for whatever lost soul you know for them to go back to the to the light just mm -hmm. with intention so is that, you know, what, is that what you do yeah, just whenever I go, I just think, you know, I, I'm the portal or something. So just open up for them to go back to the light or whatever they need to go. Back. Mm. Yeah. What I'm saying is, is that what you've done before this event? You've already been doing No, I, oh, I do that all the time, wherever I go, you know, not well, necessarily. Okay, you go. Beat. You know, you've been doing it and not realizing you're doing it. Because everything I do, I just do with intention. And I know yeah. the rest will just take care of itself. You know, because with the intention that the rest were just because I know there's a lot of soul everywhere. 
So, you know, we just, I just wanted to have a photo of, of light. I, I've so been, I've been giving more info. You've been collecting them as well. And that's why the, the back pain is there because that's the lost souls. And then in the day, you send them to where they should go. There you go. Didn't know that. You've Makes been collecting sense. them on your back. Yeah, in your mm -hmm. And your then family. when you go to the beach, you send them to the light. Oh, I see. Okay. That's when, so you have a portal there. You have your own portal at the beach. You have your own that you created. And then the portal opens and then you send them home. Okay, got it, got it. So, so just continue oh doing that. Oh my God, right? I have such goosebumps for that. <laughs> just with the intention, it, it is okay. Just continue doing it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. It's a beautiful. Great job. Yeah, because I'm also tired. I'm only wondering, you know, what am I doing? Am I contributing anything? So, <laughs> yeah, I'd know, say you are. <laughs> yeah, thank you for telling me. You are the only person who keep confirming that you're. I'm doing something. So it's not necessary, you know. I wanted to get a credit or something, but I just wanted to know that I am helping. Oh yes, a lot. Yeah, uh, and and not, we're not talking just a few. We're talking thousands, thousands. That's, you know, that's a lot. Awesome. Thank you're you for letting me know. You're, you're like the Pied Piper of soul saving. <laughs> yes. Uh, the you know what a pie, yeah. the Pied Piper is? It's a, it was a, a, a little boy that, that did a flute or a Pied a pie Piper <laughs> and all the children would follow him. Oh, I see. Yeah. He yeah. said, you're like a Pied Piper of souls. <laughs> okay. They're all following you. They all come to you. Because they know that you're, you will bring, you will set them free into the light because they don't know how to do it for themselves. Awesome. Thank you for telling me. I will keep doing that. And just okay. FYI, you say I'm full of love today. Before this event, I joined the Tai Chi at the beach. That's what I did earlier before I joined this. So I was doing the beginning Tai Chi. Oh, I saw this beautiful energy. It was like swirling and swirling and swirling around you. It's gorgeous. Oh, I've I, I've always wanted to do that. I, and I, I love I've done that. You were doing Tai Chi with the energy on the beach. You brought it with you. And I love Tinkerbell. So, uh, <laughs> but you, you saw. It. I mean, you could see it. It was like the energy, like Tinkerbell, with all, all the sparkles going around and around. That's what it looked like to me. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. I will keep doing that. Thank you. Thank you for for confirming. You are say stop. Okay. Tell them to, when to stop for your cards. No. Ah, study. There you go. All right, it's uh, study. Why the light and power? Can you see that? Study. Study. And power. Study. As, as and to power. Look for new skills and uh, ideas for your growth. Where well, you've got the ideas now of what you're actually doing. So good. And the other one's power. Power is you've got the power of the creator. Uh, you've got the power Look. of the creator. You know yeah. that anyway. Divine love, wisdom, intelligent. So basically, you, you can actually do your study yourself because you've got the power to do it. You've got the power to, you've got the knowledge with it. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah I, I, I do. I'm aware that I do have something that I, you know, could share and give and contribute. And just how to make it into reality. That's the thing. And I know it's already within. It's not like, you know, I need to learn from someone I know that's um, from the um, parallel life that is already the skill or wisdom or spiritual gift that I already possessed, but just how to um, deliver in this wrong, this lifetime. Oh, look at you're doing, you're doing a lot. So just keep doing that. Yeah. Yeah. More, more is good. To, more to come though. There's going to be so much more. Yeah, I'm just asking for clarity so I know which step and I have the courage to, you know, to step into my power and shining, just keep sharing and shining love and light wherever I go. That's, that, that's the key. And you do. You do. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my love. Thank you, everyone, for holding space. Love you, guys. Love you. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Deb. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, the next one is Jillian. Jillian, Jillian, I don't know how. <laughs> it's Jillian, Jillian. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, uh, <laughs> um, it was interesting. You were just saying um, Tinkerbell and Disney um, because I have the same birthday as Walt Disney, December 5th. Yeah. 
that's somebody I want to emulate. <laughs> You're December well, five. I'm December yeah. four. Are, are you? Yeah. No way. Oh my yeah. god, that's awesome. I'm one day ahead. <laughs> I am December two. <laughs> I am third. So three, no, four, no. five. No. <laughs> Third wow. awesome. uh, Fantasia was supposed to be about shape shapeshifters too. Not surprising. Yeah. Um, so a little update. Um, the back of my head is no longer the Hellraiser movie, so that's good. Um, it looks good. better. Yeah. That's good. great. Wow. Thank God. Um, so thank you for helping through that. Um and Phil, thank you for the last two videos you posted that were like really long ones. Mm -hmm. Um I went in an elevator with my eight-year-old self and we had a good time, got my crystal and everything. That was really cool. And then the other one put together was really awesome. You said, was that put together by Sophie? It had all yeah. the links of all the different, yeah, that was really so, awesome too. I told Sophie, I said, you know, you know that should be a class. Yeah. The, I, I sh yeah, I, I said it should be six parts. Yeah, super awesome um, work on that one. Mm. Um, what else? I had joy, I found some joy um, in a cute boy, but then... Then all of a sudden he blocked me. I guess I got to him. I don't know. Um, so I had a little <laughs> bit of joy, a little bit of a joystick. So that was good to feel good again. Um, and then I'm going through a big battle with work or my old work. Um, but I did get them to admit that there was um, biowarfare agent poison under my desk two years ago. So dealing with attorneys and things like that. Um, but that was a big deal. And then um, I am asking for just a little bit of assistance with my belly button. Because, um, okay, either um, either something's trying to suck Whoa. my energy. Whoa, you've got, a spider. you've got a spider in your belly button. Damn it. I hate um, what, what, yeah, so. what do you call it? Do you want to name it? No, it's called, <laughs> it's called Get the Fuck Out. <laughs> <laughs> it's called, yeah, it's called Borax and Diatoma, Diatomus Earth or whatever. Diatomaceous. This was a spiritual spider. It's not okay. a real one. Well, you can see, yeah, you can see things. And then, like, it, I think it's crazy because my mom is going to kick its ass that if it's trying to, like, get to my, like, umbilical cord because that's her territory. Um, just help with that because it's, uh, it's this is gross, but I don't know. Yeah. Wow. Um, forming, like, a circle around it and lots of, um, like, kind of nanofibers and spikes. I actually saw, like, a, like a cobweb circle spiked barbed wire material and it went like this i saw it, it was like and i saw it shoot the the needle spikes out and um yeah i'm not about that so yeah. if i could have some assistance i've been i didn't yeah. know it was there and it formed fake skin over and then i realized it was there and hit up phil in case i was uh, in case i was in trouble but um so so at least they weren't like you didn't tell anybody <laughs> But um, you, you haven't got L Razor's cube, have you? What? You haven't got L Razor's L Razor's cube, and you you started the the L part. I hope not. <laughs> no, I'm not really about that. I'm good on I'm good on all the spikes. So many spikes. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay. But just been like having a lot of energy. Just like I can't move from room to room. Prayer. prayer I, you're you're not at your old job. When did you go back to your old job? When were you there? Oh, it was right before 2020. Okay, I didn't go so back. You've never gone back there? No. <sighs> Trying to track who's doing this. Do you know who's doing this to you? I'm not sure. It could be a million or people or exes or... Oh, family. come on. Yeah. Who, no, who, okay, who, who, has, who would know how to oh. do stuff like this? It just seems in alignment with like the Archons. No, this is, uh, no, this is personal. It's Me? not the Archons. Yeah, this is... My mind? Person. No, who's who's doing this to you? You know who's doing this to you. Bill? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, personal. It's not the Archons. You're not doing this to you. The spider stuff? All of this. Know. This is all personal. This is all personal. It's got to a point that this is now a personal vendetta. Somebody's trying to do this to you. Who's doing this to you? <clears throat> How long have you had all this uh, happening to you? This is black is, magic is, stuff. Is this all your life? This is Since black magic. Hmm? Since 2020. Since you left your job. Uh, yeah. Um, but, but you said there was some dangerous material under your desk. Yeah. Uh, some like bio warfare agent mold poison. Mm. So it's before that, in a way. It's what? 
Oh, it's before be that? Before, because you've already been, you've been attacked. Like someone in the office or? Yeah, who could this hurt the most? This lawsuit. Oh, um, all of the adult business. What, what business were you in? Um, we sold like all the world's porn and managed all the porn stars, all their websites, all the Roku channels. Uh, merchandise but we were like in the off the distribution office and then we like um handled clients orders and stuff it's quite it's quite a low vibration thing if you so yeah yeah i know yeah, so i helped a lot of men though like at least not like that way but just talk to him and <laughs> don't, don't say anything <laughs> else <laughs> yeah <laughs> i know what you mean yeah i well I'm, god but yeah there, there was um the room I was in, I didn't know, but I did some research and um, they did like a film. I guess they filmed some kind of controversial, um, obs- like when Larry Flint and everything was like obscene. They didn't know it was obscene, but there was a court case and they were like um, uh, filming there and they got busted, but they just got a probation. But they were filming some like kind of not torture film, but something like that, but like called Shattering Crystal. And that does concern me a bit. Because of all the glass coming through, that had come through my skin the past few years, but I didn't know at the time. But I don't know. I had fun there. The ladies were cool in the office. It was a fun job. But I do understand the uh, working amongst all the. Uh... Wait, it's the vibration, isn't it? They're into that sort of thing. So some people be into quite dark. Yeah, yeah. and then um, I don't know. I thought some of the people who worked there were probably like maybe lizards or something. <laughs> I don't know. I, but it, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, yeah, that would that would not that would not surprise me. Yeah, um, yeah, it could have been it could have been some ladies in the office. What one girl was a mortician, but she seemed to be like it seemed like she was a little possessed at times by spirits and maybe a voodoo energy. But her grandma made really good cookie dough. Okay, to some people, I mean, doing voodoo, it's like I've made that's as easy as that. So you you obviously yeah, this is not archon. This is personal attack by from somebody. So office or. I mean, there's a there's the boy that I haven't talked to in two years either, but I don't. I think he gets too. No, this is a, this is ab- no, this is this is definitely from your old job. I'm getting this information. Okay. It's definitely somebody that is threatened by your lawsuit. I would say. Yeah. Or they're playing with black magic, or they know black magic. They're doing this to you to harm you, either to scare you or to harm you. I would say right now, well, they've actually harmed you in the past. Yeah. Um, now they're they're doing, unless they're still harming you. Yeah, the owner of the company was like John Michael the Archangel, and then um, I always the thought owner, it was funny. Like, the owner of the property was who? The owner of the company. His name was John Michael the Archangel, and I always thought it was kind of funny. So I would make jokes like, "Oh, the, the archangels are running porn on Earth." Yeah, no, I won't be surprised. <laughs> and um that's not even funny their number one um, it, it is for me. film was like the the film that had the number one attached to it was like was it outbreak or something which i thought was weird i don't know there was some weird coincidence but um um but yeah the the lady alicia was the one who was the accountant that i'm dealing with and then the other girls was becky that's um the coordinator but i reported i made a report with all my reports and doctor evidence and a picture of under my desk because there was some crazy chemical under the desk and they had to like cut out the desk and then there was like this black sticky tar substance right under my chair and then ever since then um like half my half my head my face had like pretty much burned off my ears are still burning off um I've come a long way but it was pretty fucked up it's about two years yeah and who says that that you know there isn't something that can continue with this bullshit yeah right. and like um i got i sent a report and then like alicia called me on speaker and said yes this was indeed a work injury and yes we've inv- investigated this and yes we'll send it to workers comp and then i thought there was finally some light and help and then um workers comp denied it probably because they don't have t- chemical burn on your face insurance because we were in office but um i'm trying to find the attorney most of them say it's like the first case because nobody survive, survives with 100% poison in their body like me. And it's a little hard to prove, but I've pretty much proven it. And I have photos and stuff and they admitted it. But after that, like, um, I was like, well, what are we going to do next? And then they, I was like, can I have a report of what you found? And then they pretty much blocked me. 
and said, talk to the attorney. But um, lo and behold, I've, I think I found a good attorney that I'm feeling confident about that I'm going to meet with. But yeah. Mm. Why? <laughs> Sorry. Jillian, can you feel the energies? Uh, like here? Yeah, all over. There you go. Hopefully that's shit. It could be uh, alien knowledge. So it could be Archon knowledge. I'm saying it's them, but it's them sort of very dark. Oh. So it wasn't, I didn't get freaky and astral. <laughs> Not, no. Uh, <laughs> All right, because that's on me if I did, but. You're being attacked by uh, the owner. But the knowledge not quite is not normal. That substance spell basically kill you. Why aren't you dead? What? <laughs> you should be dead. <laughs> well you should be dead, I know. Mm. I'm special because <laughs> I I create peace. I make pink peace, pink sparkly peace. No, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, get the spiders out. No spiders. Oh, yeah, I did uh, it. It's a spider gun, Deb. I was I was taking all the dark energy off the, all the spell. Mm -hmm. I'm taking all the curse off. Yeah, I could tell. Look how red my ears. Um, thank you. Yeah, I did do no, an this, interview. Yeah, with it's gone. Okay. I did an interview before and then some people did see it at work and were wondering some things. So thank you. You're and um, I have also been, uh, my hands have been going on their own a lot. So either I'm going to be a, ma a magician or a conductor or maybe. Oh, oh they're just manipulating me. <laughs> you want a couple of cards? Can we, can we scan her place and see if, if they're getting in there or if there's anything around there? I took a lot of dark stuff out around the corner. Yeah, I'll, I'll be bringing it in. Let's have a pull. I don't know. I feel like there's something in there. Yeah, please, by all means, scan the place. There's also, I don't know, a juvenile center way across the mountain that has really bright lights away from it and more lights. I just get a weird vibe from it. Where do you live? I live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And you said, there's no mountains there. Is there mountains there? Yeah, mountains and bridges. I live at the top of a mountain. Those aren't mountains. Those are foothills. It's Those 1,100 are... feet a... above sea level. <laughs> Go down it in the snow and you'll... it's a mountain. No, it's not. We live in Arizona. Uh, well, yeah, those are real mountains. That's a little hill. For a spider, it would be a mountain. Say that again, a spider what? I said, for a spider, you're living in a mountain. For a spider, jokes. I'm living in a mountain? For a spider's view, it would look like a mountain. Oh, <laughs> there's no spider. There you go. There's some. Um... Did you get rid of it? Phil? Mm. I, I'm just looking. You connect, Jillian. You connected to the elemental. You've got a very big connection to the elemental. Yeah, well, there was there was one that wasn't very nice. <sighs> it was um, kind of looked like a dwarf. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Here we're talking Disney all night, all afternoon rather. But that might be because she's connected <laughs> to the elemental. Mm -hmm. This is a cool dwarf my friend gave me. It's not this dwarf, right? This one's cool. No. That one's from Walmart. Uh, I'd put it in the bed. Now this guy, this guy had a full face. Okay. His energy wasn't nice. Okay. You don't need any non-nice dwarfs here. He's it's gone now, so I don't know whether um Phil got rid of it or he ran scared. It must be coming in from someplace. Or maybe he moved into the porn office. No, I, I that that thing that was behind you with all the circles. It I think I think there's some kind of entrance there. Oh um. That, that right there, that thing with the, there's some kind of entrance. There, there's a portal in there. There's a mirror on the other side of it. Interesting. Um, in my shrine. Is there a mirror in front of it? Um, uh, there's, a, there's an old radio and then there's this mirror. They don't face each other though, right? No. no. Okay, good. Oh, wait, there's, well, this is just a little round like locker mirror by the door. Does it face the other mirror? The other mirror's on the other side of the wall. No, there's no two mirrors that face each other, right? I don't think so, but I will look. Uh, my friend's mom gave me this mirror, but I didn't put it up yet. And then that one faces this. Well, it's not facing because it's not up yet, but then I have that triangle mirror in the corner. As long as they're not facing each other, that, that they're not reflecting off each other. Yeah, they're not like spot on. I have a lot of mirrors. It's, just, it's, a, it's that thing with the circles on it. It's coming in and out. Of it. That's the portal. That's what I first said. That's where it's coming in and out. Okay. The portal is in the, the round one that's got the, it's like looks like dashes, a circle okay. of dashes. That's the portal that Phil needs to close up. That one? First, he needs to find out where it goes to. 
Yeah, that was my friend's a steel worker, and those were leftover circles that he welded together. It's very cute. Do you want me to, to take it off the wall? I can't. Oh no, 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 no. It, it's they just they just okay. happen to use it. That portal goes into a oak, an old oak tree. I don't know where that. It's like a an old rotted oak tree. It's just like a big stump, and then that that portal. I don't know. Let me see. Mm, I have some stumps in the backyard. It's like a, it's it's not like a little stump. It's like a big stump of an old tree. Like one you would sit on or? Yeah, but, but, well, it almost looks like it's, I wouldn't sit on this one because it's kind of jagged. <laughs> oh, okay. I think if you file, if you sanded it, it you could almost make like a back to it. Let me see. So we took out a bush in the front and there's a stump and we spray painted it black so it wouldn't grow. That's in the it's, front this yard. One's, this one's black. It's black? Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, this is the one. It's connected, Deb, to demonic. Your looks. You know, they're into what? It's thing connected to the demonic. Mm. I'm sorry, say that again. All, all this, even the business you work for, is connected with demons. Okay. That's why they keep, they're good at black magic. Yeah. They're the, they're, they're the best. The house has been, the structure's been cleansed, so they'll have difficulty getting in. And uh, there's white light been to the mirror. I didn't. I didn't want to stay where I went. Yeah, I'm not welcome. I'm there. sorry. They like cut the volume a little bit. Yeah, I don't <laughs> like. I don't like going where where it leads to very long. Gotcha. They want me. Not staying there. Understood. Well, nobody needs to go there anywhere. Yeah, they they cut your connection, so we couldn't see it, but um, it froze again. My artwork froze a bit. Then you gotta say stop. I'll give you two cards. Stop. Your, house, your house is cleansed now, though. That's a, that's a, and you will feel better. I was going to ask. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, abundance, ideas, and oh, inspira you. inspiration. You probably have loads of them anyway. Too many. Thank you, Bill, and thanks for the card. Yeah. Um, Abund so abundance is well abund everybody in the group. Yeah, abundance is a rival of wealth or full growth. Probably spiritual growth, inspiration. Ideas. I mean, it could be uh, new ideas. That's it. New ideas of what you do. Yeah, it could either do spiritual growth or wealth. I'm not sure. Bill, are you are you still into the cards? What? Are you still into the cards? What do you mean? Like uh, doing cards and everything. The one day I asked you for a card, you didn't give me one. I've just given. <laughs> I've just given you two. I was like, oh man, I'm getting rejected everywhere. <laughs> I I'm, I'm, like, I'm giving you. I'm like, I'm, Phil's not even giving me a card, not even a generic one. I'm Everybody give, hates me. Uh, I'm giving you two. I'm just buzzing with you. I'm giving you two. You probably want a third one. So then, you you probably want? froze like you did blessings, today. Blessings to you. Phil always gives a card. He's, I mean, that's why. That's I, why it's, <laughs> it drives so maybe, maybe drives so maybe crazy. A different healing group because he wasn't that into the cards today, and I was thinking I was in a different reality. He's definitely into him. He's been giving everybody two. Okay, good. I was just, I must have been, but I, I, sure. I gave you third, I gave you the third of its blessings. So there you go. Yay, I need him. Again. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Blessings okay. to all the group. Blessings means extra blessings of your angels. Thank right. you. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome. Nelly? No, there's nobody else, but um, I would like to ask about. Oh, I, probably Libby. You forgot Libby. She, Libby's. No. She yes, I'm here. At the, at, the, at the beginning. Oh, okay. Okay, Libby. We're My ready. Turn, yay. Okay. Um, I'll tell you real quick what happened this week, and then I have three very quick questions. I know everybody's exhausted. Um, I have a body of elementals inside of, a family of elementals inside my body. There's a tree right outside my kitchen door where I ground every day. And I hug it and I talk. I send messages to fairies and elementals. And the nefarious being approached this tree, got the elementals and told them to get inside my body so that they could enter me. A nefarious person could enter me. They did not want to come. They refused to come. And he said, you're going. So they came because they had to. But And then they couldn't get out. Holly went in there and... She couldn't get them out, so she turned them to pure energy and sent them to the light. So they got in your back door, Phil, is what I'm thinking. Right. But that you're the expert. So let me see if that's all I've got. It forced them to go inside my body. They did not want to do it. They are not even 
malevolent <laughs> elemental, but they had to come inside of me so that that being could come in. And now they're stuck in me, but Holly turned them to energy and she left. I don't know whatever happened. And I'm wondering, after just listening to this past lady speak, am I next? I'm heavily targeted. And where do I go in my sleep? And am I helping humanity at all? <coughs> my nerves cannot take anymore. So I don't see where I'm able to help, even if I could. But I'm being pushed down. My talents are being pushed down, whatever they are. And I'm tired of it. And damn it, I'm not going to take it anymore. What do I need to do? I followed everything I've been told everywhere across the board. I've done all I can do. And I'm still working on some of that stuff. Do I do any good? I don't see anything inside of you, Ruby. You do not. And my right hip hurt so much i can't lift okay well i i, I mean I, I i was looking for the elementals i don't see anything inside of you okay okay maybe they found their way out good thank goodness because when she first told me i was blessing my tree out for letting them in me as as over a year now i've been loving on that tree and i was why are they here because i send them messages through the tree that i love them and you know, I'll watch out for you. You watch out for me, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, and, and uh, secondly, let's remind ourselves that we're not victims. We are powerful beings. We are. I should be, but I'm beginning to wonder. Am I okay. being as soon as, as soon as you put it out there that you're not, then you're not. We, what we say and what we think and what we feel is what we are. We create our lives. We create our environment. Yes, we do. But I need to share with you right now because I can't take anymore. I have well, to spell it out. Anymore, How will you know if I don't tell you? Every day when we wake up, we create our happiness. We create our environment. I wake up in gratefulness. I learned this in AA. I learned this. I know this. I make a list, but I have to teach you first. <laughs> Yeah. So, and, and no, and nobody can help us but ourselves. So we have to, we have to create our lives. Our, we have to create our environment. So you're never alone. You have angels. You have guides, and it, it, it's not something that you fight on your own. You, you keep going to the outside to help you. It's all here. Your tool chest is right inside of you. I do my best, and I keep getting slammed. You keep accepting it. Don't accept it. Don't accept it. It's okay. You don't. You, don't accept it. Did, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, don't accept the pain in my hip. No, the, the pain in your hips. Okay. You know, Libby, I'm in pain. All of us are in pain. We're older. I get. I understand the pain. I get that. Yeah. That I understand. And and we're in, uh, this this 3D body. I I know. I get it. I'm not talking about the pain. I'm talking about the other crap. The the uh, the victim for the 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 other stuff. If you can see, you can see things. You have you have a gift. You have a gift of seeing things. Other people can't see things. Whoa. You have the adva- you have the advantage. And I can feel energy. Yes. The, the, other thing, have that. the other thing is we're light, so we're targets. We are all targets of the dark. Uh, that's, thank uh, you, uh, Bill. That's how, it, uh, that's how it is. We are targets. And uh, we chose this job to be here, to make Earth light, and they don't want. They haven't. We haven't won yet. I know you put a message. We won. No, it's still going on. We're winning. I don't feel we've won yet. Yeah, we're winning. But yes. They are trying every way to get our energy. Yes. They put implants in for in everyone. They lower vi- our vibration to try and they try and change your path. That's why we get shit because they're trying to lower your path, not to do your full job here yeah i've had a, a lot in my time a hell of a lot and i've told them some of it and you uh, do yeah I, I actually had four dark controllers trying to stop that four years ago i froze them in my timeline goodbye <laughs> but i was at my lowest i really was at my lowest i was near death lowest part and they were laughing at me and i saw them in my remote and i froze them in my timeline and now recently me and dave sent them to uh Source, we sent them to uh, source. Yeah, I didn't we sent them to source. Yeah, a medium told me that they, were, they wanted to release him. 
and I wouldn't release and know it because it's been affecting my life or, or, or free my life. Yeah. I had uh, an, a, an idea. I had, a, I had uh, uh, what do you call it, grey spying on me from my wood. They put CCTV into my wood and I saw oh it. Oh, my God. So uh, I sorted that out with uh, crystals. And one of the neighbours had seen a spaceship with a child above where they put with it for it. So they go in your timeline, they see what you do, they go in your timeline before you get in your timeline and they plant all sorts of shit. Yeah. So it affects How do, you I, do I need to switch timelines? So no, you can't I, I don't know what whatever we're, you we're, say. We're, we're in the most important timeline. But what we did, they went back in time to my my house before I was here and planted all this crap. So so they, they, they know they're losing, but they've got a lot of good technology, a lot of clever stuff. And they, they're trying to lose your past. So you don't think that I'm, sir? Hmm? What was don't that? Don't lose your what? Yeah, don't lose uh, your way. Carry on. Yeah. Um, just by, where do I go ju- in just my by, sleep? And, uh, and, and am I helping? I, I didn't have a vision when I was here. I had a vision with uh, Davina when I was healing her. I actually saw what she was doing. Sometimes it's in your energy, sometimes it's... And if you're doing an you important... see it in my if you, energy? If, if you're doing a dark job, which is getting rid of the dark energies, then you'll be blocked from showing me. You will block me from me knowing, because then it makes you as more of a risk, to get what I mean. I don't leave this house after dark. Yeah, I don't leave this house before it gets dark. I'm talking about astro. If you go... Astro, if you, in if the you, astro. If you do work outside in the astro... And it's very, very important. You you won't give me the vision of that. Do you understand what the astral means? Yeah. Outside your body. The, uh, uh, the astral is the earth out there, the realm. The yeah. realm. No, when you're heaven. sleeping, when you're sleeping, you you're you you're you go you leave your body and work in the astral. All mm-hmm. of us okay. do. Well, most of it. Yeah. That's what and that's becoming so much more aware of good. I'm getting off of some medicine right now. It takes a long time to get off, and I've done it in half the time. I've still got a little way to go. So part of my tears are from that stress. Um, and they're just really mean to people who've been on this medicine. And I'm willing to go in the hospital and get off of it within a week if they'll take me because I have the coverage now. But um, my neck is so bad. They said that my neck is going to break probably during my sleep when I'm flopping around. That's why. I got this right here, and then I take all the pillows away, and I just leave on one pillow to keep it in place. And I've got my phone right here where my hand will go beside my bed and get that phone and dial 911 if I have to. If my neck is going to break because I have degenerative bone disease, fourth, fourth degree degenerative disc disease, and my neck hurts all the time. I thought it was just from the car wrecks, which didn't help it. But this is congenital, congenital. And um, by taking ivermectin, it will go away. But um, and I got the ivermectin. I just haven't started taking it yet because it will heal so many things that are wrong with me. Sinuses. I have a, a whole host of things wrong with me that is contributed to parasites. Well, then take the ivermectin. That's good stuff. I will. I've still got to buy a $15 jar of Metamucil because it gives me instant diarrhea. So I've got to put the, I've got to put the uh, fiber in my body so that it'll stop the runs. I was going at both ends and I had to stop. But I have two cataracts and the white spots are gone off my eyes. For two weeks of taking ivermectin. So my, my cataracts are healing and um, many of my, um, my teeth are getting better as far as the, um, I had 20 cavities that are falling out, but I've not lost any since uh, in a year and I'm trying to strengthen the uh, gums so that they can receive teeth. Right now they won't even hold teeth. the bone density is, is gone. It's uh, like, uh, mushy. So the dentist didn't tell me what to do. They just want money and they want it all right now up front. 
go to the bank and tell them your problems. Bring me the money. You pay it off to them. And that pissed me off. So I've never been back to her in three years. I'm just trying to cure it on my own. And since then, my doctor has the same problem. My boyfriend, or he's, he's a friend who's a guy, has the same problem. But the ivermectin's not helping him. It's not helping me yet. I'm not on it every day yet. I just have plans to, to get better. And um, right now, my nerves are shot because... I, I, you just treated me last Saturday and I turn around and there's a family of elementals living in me and they're upset because they don't want to be there. That's got to stir something in you. So I'm through bitching. Your turn. I don't know anything about that. Um, or, anyway. I, I'm not a doctor, so I can't prescribe. But, but me but either. One, one borax out of you. Um, I love borax and I have plenty of it. I right. never want to run out of it. It's that good. Yeah. And I'll do it when we get off. I'm ready to go with fresh water and the borax. Eighth of a teaspoon. So you, you, you have that anyway. Don't you? Yeah. Sir. You have that I'm anyway. Like, you have, have borax then, don't you? Yes. Plenty. Tons. That's yeah. good. And I'll never run out of it because it's just, we need it. Yeah. And Ooh. I live alone, so I don't eat right. All that food I bought in 2020 to last me for three to five years is in a trash, three trash cans ready to go to the dumpster. And I'm thinking I'm going to keep it because I might need to eat it. I can't eat what they're remaking and putting on the shelves right now with bugs in it and got in fetal tissue. Mm -hmm. I, I'm thinking of not throwing away all that peanut butter and pumpkin and all that stuff. I, I may need to eat it. It's It's only been... It, it's not been long since it's been out of date. I, I wouldn't been it. <laughs> you never know what the world did come. You don't know what's happening in the next 12 months. Yeah. I bought it in 2020. No, that I'm was so, before I'm, they I, started weaponizing food, wasn't it? Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Would you hang on to it? I would because we don't know what's happening in the next 12 months. You really don't know. They, they've really gone, gone at war with us at the moment. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're we're at the worst, and, and it's going to get even worse, they say. Right. Do you want two cards, by the way? Yeah, but you didn't give me any hope. That, well, you didn't see any people in me, so that's no. oh, so it, it, But we've been healing you. I've been healing you. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've, just been, I've just been mouthing, so I'm sorry. Well, while, while, you're, sorry. While, you're doing, while you were doing I was like, healing you. <laughs> I'm so funny. Yeah. Is that Dino? I'm so sorry. Yeah, the drug is right. one of the drugs is borax or bora. I'll send you a, a video. Right. Just tell us when. Now. Study. Miracle. Bang! Hey, What's I can't see it. Bring it closer, please. There you go. Miracle. Actually, Miracles I, and study. Yeah, miracles. You may feel you need a miracle. Let's sort of show do. you the Let's so show you the path to resolve the situation. So ask him for, to, to, to help you show the path. And study is learn a new skill on your growth. It might be to create miracles. Yeah. That would be nice to mm. give to others. I would love that. Um, is that what you meant? It's to learn it. I don't know. I don't know what the study is. It's your, like, you've got to find a new study. I, I presume it's to do with spirituality. That's what the it's a, an angelic oracle card, and uh, what was the other one again? My memory's going miracle, yeah. So, ask source to show you the way, and it might be linked to a, a new path, you know, a new study. Yeah. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. Blessings. Thank you. You too. Thank you for this treat, you all. Oh, you're welcome, Dino. It's good to see you. Good to see it's you. For, it's been forever. It has been forever, and I'm so happy to see you guys. And oh, and thank you for the reminder, Philip, this morning. Because otherwise, yeah. last weekend I got my went Saturday and Sunday mixed up. I was so upset with myself. So yay! I'm using my old computer, my computer I got last summer. I still can't get the sucker to work, so I'm keeping my old fashioned, old big honking elephant here it works like a charm every time so i'm back and i wanted to tell libby that the fact that you're being attacked 
is right there is proof positive you're making a difference. That's right. I mean, oh, oh my God. Right I can't there. Find you, but I hear you. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. But I mean, yeah. um, I had this weird freak accident and uh well it's four and a half months ago that's why no one's seen me um i was yeah. just walking simple no rush nothing fell as well actually something grabbed my ankle of that was not of this earth grabbed my ankle and i fell mm-hmm. flat on my face broke my nose broke a tooth ah. a compound fractured two fingers on my hand but i fell and they fell backwards came up into my palm. I didn't realize that's what that was, was bones. And I pushed them through. And then I realized what it was. I mean, I've been through literally a pretty challenging hell. Um, They've released me to go back to work, but this is the most I can move my hand. I have no feeling in this half. Oh, no. no. Well, doctors practice medicine. They they only go by scientific method of observation. Well, I I think Western medicine well, they're doing the best they can. They, I'm, I figure I'm a witness to them to learn that go by this and this, the heart and the head. So that's I said, right. okay, that's, so they've said, okay, that's it. That's as good as it's going to get. And I said, well, that's your opinion. Fine. <laughs> yeah. So they released me a week ago. I said, you have to do what you do and I do what I do. So I'm just regrowing the new nerve. And um, so I'm learning how to write left-handed, which is really a trip. Oh. And for anybody who's ever broke their dominant hand, all I got to say is when they, you go to the bathroom and can't use your dominant hand anymore. <laughs> that is, so I am now using both sides of my brain. So oh. I'm a, uh, it's a trip. That's all I can say. And I'm so grateful. Archangel Michael, he's got a wicked sense of humor. That's all he I got. sure does. He sure oh, does. <laughs> he's a Dickens. But I keep telling him, okay, you know, this is really funny. <laughs> yeah I keep telling them okay come on let's go dragon riding I really miss it I know I can't be a warrior you know the days of us riding at night are over but come on I want to ride I'm I miss it and of course my dragon goes you can't hold on with both hands and I'm not holding back for you <laughs> oh. so there's my incentive I miss dragon riding so but I'll get there. So I'm just learning new ways to do things. So I've been studying and I want to, I want to be back in the, in the group with you guys. That's why today was you, you would go to someone would say what they needed help with. And I would see if I could feel it. So I, I'm feeling really encouraged. I felt good. Yeah. And so why haven't you asked us to heal you? Yeah, you need it. <laughs> I know. I'm just so freaking stubborn. I want to heal myself, but it's also been five and a half hours. If you feel like seeing what you can do, great. Mm. If not, there's always another day. No, nope. let's go. Okay. Let's go. Take me. Mm. Thank you, Dana. You came here for a reason. You got an implant. I had a feeling I might. <laughs> Damn. Angel Michael's like, see, you're so okay. stubborn. <sighs> yeah, I know. Mm. I really do hate asking for help. It's my yes, idea. you do. I don't know why. I love you guys so much. I don't want to be a burden. You're not what? a burden. It's not a burden. We're all family. I know. We just don't know the one helping others. Oh my God! You got a zip tie too. Is it on my ankle? Yes. I I felt it. How are they getting on me? Metatron told me to come to the meeting today. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your, your dragon's talking to you. Oh, yeah. He's doing this. Yeah, he's doing more than that. Yeah. He's doing this. Eh, eh, eh. I told you. Uh-huh. Okay, Denise, Denise, Denise. I'm, I'm also, trying to heal it. Yeah, Injury I'm, that normally takes I'm, two years. I'm, I'm actually seeing a parasite as well. Do you have pain in a certain area? Oh, you're still, or... are you still recording? Yeah. Sorry if... Did you say fuck? Uh, that, oh, did you say fuck? Oh. oh, fuck. She said fuck. <laughs> uh, anybody knows me knows. It's only in the Bible, thou shalt not swear. Well, right. Have you got... Some, uh, do you have constant pain in an area? Anywhere? And it, yeah. It, it, and you wonder why it doesn't go very often. Well, I've 
was born with this bone disease I've had it since I was a little girl. Yeah. So I'm in pain all the time. I just, it's just part of breathing. Is it gone worse since the accident? Oh yeah. Yeah, Way what, worse. what it is, the parasite's probably attracted by it and because you've damaged your aura in the accident, it's got it and it's feeding. It'll feed there and it'll live somewhere else in your body. So you might feel a bit warm. No, it's a bit hot. As I'm trying to burn it, get rid of it. I'm glad you guys said something. How do you feel? Much better. And I fit the tooth that broke, there's a big hole up into my, they haven't pulled it yet. I'm still waiting for a doctor, a dentist. And uh, I feel like air coming out of my ho the hole in my jaw. That must be where the parasite in entered or something. I just, my jaw quit hurting. And yeah, I feel way lighter. Oh. Did, did, did I didn't tell you before. You guys did, are amazing. Did you also have neck pain? Yeah, I did. Uh, you might not have as much now, I've got it. I mean, I have this arthritis that I, every night I go into my, do my healing thing and, you know, I, I uh, erase it away off all my joints. I'm growing it. I grow it. I figure every seven years you have a new body. So every night I go through and I tell all the new cells you're going to, you're recreated in the original DNA that God used when he made Adam and Eve. And that's what all my new cells are as they come through. So I'm growing a new spine and new bones. So <clears throat> that's my, what I do. So thank you. So how would I have a, did I just not ground good enough every day? I, if, they, if I miss one every, day. Every, I, everybody's I, getting them. Mothers. So they're just getting more creative. Yeah, they really yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. They really, really well, are. They, they even had them coming out into the, the light grid. The grid that you connect for consciousness. Yes. Yeah, that, that, that is <laughs> that's a big they problem. Really, so now yeah. I'm doing the grid work. Should I be changing? Is there a different way I should be doing the grid work now? I can't think of one. The, okay. the, the factory that was producing them in 4D in Antarctica, we took down. We took one of them down and a friend of mine took the one in China down. But they, they always find different ways. Wow. <laughs> Okay, we just keep plugging along at it and just, mm. I've been doing a lot of work on the bottom of the ocean floor. I've been real attracted to that. Mm. So that's where I've been working, working on that. I mean, we're, that's what, I mean, I, I've been told that I'm going to be staying behind with Gaia when everybody shifts off. I'm going to be staying behind with her. So um, I, I'm going to be one of the last ones. So that's right. where I'm going. I, I'm not staying on the if I'm going. <laughs> Oh, you're going? <laughs> Go in. Mad if I don't have any messages about that. I have no idea. I, I hope I'm good. going. Oh, well, I'm going to be the last to go. I, I mean, that was my new agreement I made. Mm. I was supposed to shift off a, a year ago, April, was when Mark Angel Michael came to me and I said, he says, okay, everything's cleared. Where do you want to go? Your son's happy. No reason for you to go. I'll take you to whatever planet you want. He made me, a, I said, you promise you'll keep it. No jokes, right? You know, the jokester he is. And I said, okay, let me think. Um, you'll give me anything I want? Because yeah, okay. I want another, my last incarnation to stay here and help Gaia for the last time. And he goes, is that really what you want? I said, yes, I want to stay here for humanity and Gaia. And he goes, so be it. And I woke up the next morning. So I got another 62 years he gave me. So God bless you. Why are we here for all? Do you want to say yeah. stop? Stop. Oh, let's see if I get the same two cards everybody else has gotten, okay? Stop. Alto. Signs and listening. Oh, I don't like listening. Ew. That's <laughs> the whole problem. <laughs> <laughs> None yeah. of us do. <laughs> listening, to, listening to him saying, well, ask for healing. <laughs> ask for help. Ask for healing. Ask for help. Ask for healing. Yeah, the signs means that you've asked for help. I mean, the signs that you've asked for help follow the signs. And the listening, this confirms you are listening to them. Use your knowledge. So you've already asked for help. They keep showing you. Okay. You know, I don't like getting told I need to do things that I don't want to do. You got to finish slowly, remember? No. Uh, you guys... I'm so happy to be back. I love you so much. Oh, I love you too. It's so good Take to see you. Take care, Davina. Uh, you look beautiful. 
thank you guys for okay. everything. Thank uh, you for the removal of that yuck. Uh, Libby, you look a lot better now, by the way. You I do. I do. You look better. I'm lighter. Yeah, you are lighter. Just being around you makes me lighter. You all. Well, we're all meant to do for each other. We're family. We are family. And that was, I think, the only thing that could heal me today. Good. Thank you for your kindness. Love all of you. you. The love, you know. And Lily Kia, thank you for keeping everybody in order. Yes, Yes, Lily. Thank mm. you. I'll see you guys soon. Great. Love you. Yeah. Bye then. Have a good night, Phil. Love good everyone. Good night, night time for you. Uh, okay, so try, try to nice to be here. We have um, Lily. Lily is uh, Lily has um, the also has the uh, attachment. She has. Oh, actually, she has some uh, issue with a person that uh, she met. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had. A and session with her. You have, she has some dark magic happening. Um, there's a woman that Lily met. She got friendly with, she's from the Philippines where uh, Lily is from. Lily lives in Germany with her husband, but she met somebody that's from her country and she got very excited. This woman apparently, um, and Lily ended up blocking her from her life. She's like about 38 <laughs> years old. She separated from her husband in four years um, because of, of a financial matter. She mentioned this, that she can curse someone and see, and see that when they may die. She, so she puts a curse on people and actually can kill them at some point, somehow. That's awful. Um, and actually did this to a woman and ended up getting her house. She, after she signed the house over to their, an elderly woman and ended up getting the house from her over in Germany. Mm-hmm. So this is this when she found out this because Lily said um, when she saw the woman and said how did you get this house and she said well, she told her that she cursed the woman and she actually died after she gave her signed the house over to her that's when Lily said you know blocked her out of her life and <laughs> kind of freaked out so um, I think that there's some kind of um, I said that there's some kind of something going on with Lily's place and Lily's. Did I say you had an implant or you had something going on? I can't remember what I said. This is, I'm, I'm today. It's been a long day for me, Lily. So you have to help yeah, me. I know. Yeah. I can't remember why I wanted to, to have Phil involved. I know that I think there's some kind, something going on with her. I think there's, there is like going on in your one, house. Yeah. One, one night when I was sleeping and I was kicking something because it wants to jump on my bed. Oh, that's it. I kick. I want to kick, kick it, and then it will still want to jump until I hit my my feet on the corner of the bed, and I woke up. This is the woman. This is the woman, and I only want to know if she's into something not nice because I feel like there's some kind of black magic going on with this woman, and she because Lily removed her from her life. I think she's trying to do this with I Lily now. Her already three times, but she will contact me. Then. She has no soul. I. I want to, you'll contact me. Will you let the cat in? Right. Hi, Deb. You done? Yeah. And I'm not saying what I did. Okay. Well, I'm doing black magic. All right. So. Yeah. Is, she, is she into something bad? Well, let's just say that um, she shouldn't bother you. Yeah, she kept on contacting. I don't like it. Because I don't like the first time we met. I, I am a very, very giving person and she cannot even say thank you. Yeah, and she would request me to, to pick up her three-year-old daughter <laughs> and then she will ask me again. I said, she took advantage, she took advantage of you. And, and then she said, then she said things that were scary to her that, that she would do to people. And now she's, yeah. she doesn't want anything to do with her. And um, now she's, yeah, things are happening. Lily yeah. seeing seeing things that are coming at her. Yeah, attacking her at night. She's been warned. She's been warned anyway. Phil 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 has warned her because he knows how to do that. So I want you to um, let let us know if she bothers you anymore. If anything shows up, okay? Yeah. So you shouldn't have any more happening. And you can block her. I have well, blocked her. He had she has blocked her, but she can't block her from um sending oh. sending things in, in the astral at her. 
That's what ah, she got. So Phil just threatened yeah. her. Yay. Yeah. yeah, twisted a soul, it's called. You get your hand in it, and then you give him a warning, and then you let go. Not, okay. ve not very light. <laughs> I <laughs> oh, shouldn't do this. <laughs> fire with fire someone. I don't know how to do it, but I ask well, I her, don't either, but Phil does. I, I asked her how the, the, the old woman died. And then I said, Did you manipulate her? Then she said, Yeah, I manipulate her. I said, oh, man. I didn't like I said, I don't like to, to, to engage with this kind of dark stuff. Yeah, it's very impossible to get a house from an old woman in just a matter of a year, and then she died. I don't like it. I said no, I don't like it. Yeah. Well, well it's like our me, Deb, and Rick are healing today. It's the opposite. It's exactly the opposite. Yeah. Or you can even you can transfer mute someone's illness off of someone else. Quite mm. Yeah. Or you, you can make yeah. someone have an heart attack or a stroke quite easily just by your mind. mind it's it's uh, it's the worst thing that uh, I mean. It's just horrible. Yeah. I couldn't even. I, it's that's something I, I could even contemplate. Uh, well, material material things don't De mean that De much to me. Deb, what about Fauci? Fauci. Fauci. <laughs> yeah, I know. Would you do it to him? <laughs> well, I don't have. See, that's no, I wouldn't okay. because. It's I, not, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't do it. You don't I would like to, I would like to say I would. <laughs> because he's, what we would do he's is hurt so many any, people, but that's not up to me. Not, I don't want to do anything that I don't want done back on me. However, yeah. I wouldn't be upset if he got his, what he's done to humanity. If mm. I get to live to see it done back on him, that's not on my conscience. Yeah. yeah I, I, I don't want, I don't want that karma. Right. That is really why they separated because she that, did not the husband did not give her her share. That is what she told me. I am supposed to receive eighty thousand euro. Oh, they sold the house. Yeah, they sold the house. I said, how quick? How quick? Then she said, he sold he sold it cheap. I said, ah, and then she's supposed to receive, and he did not give her. So they have to separate their anger with each other. Oh. oh. Mafia, <laughs> I don't like it. Greed. And when she oh. said, "I can see when the people, when someone will die, I can see it." Oh, I have. To. I don't like it. I said, "I don't like the way you talk." I really don't like. It. And the curse. How how she say the word curse with so much passion? Like no. Yeah, I can curse people like that. Oh, I don't like it. I said, "Oh yeah, I don't like this." Don't give her any power. Not, not only that, I can curse people not like that. It's really with passion inside of her. I said, oh, no, I don't really like this. Yeah, I, I think you're looking at my childhood. Huh? <laughs> 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 I was very evil as a child. So, yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad I'm here with you. you mm. know. I changed sides. That was good, wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. You're welcome. Well, that, that's how I know how to do what I do because I was yeah. on the other side when I was uh, in other lives and also but I changed you can choose you can change sides as well. yeah all yeah. right everybody so uh, thank you for joining us I am going to close this out today next next Saturday is our pet healing yeah so if you have a pet and would like to join us or you, if you'd like to join us just to hold space, I would love that too. I want to thank you. Thank you, Phil. Thank you everybody for hanging out with us.